oh. Because <laughs> when I was better, I was still congested and still coughing, and I wouldn't have been able to finish a sentence. <coughs> so I was son of a bitch. What the fuck? Hey, YouTube. What the fuck? That was weird. <laughs> Anyway, I couldn't even finish a sentence, so it was, you know, it, you know, it wasn't like a, a night of cringe was not going to happen <laughs> like weeks ago. It was just not going to happen. Um, and people were all, like asking me for the past well, since this came out, they all just see the, the boogie documentary. There's a boogie documentary. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why is there a documentary? About Boogie, and then I skimmed through it for like a couple seconds. Not a couple seconds, like a couple minutes. I just like going to going to random places in the video, and I and I was like, yeah, this is fucked up. This is this is I could get something out of this, and I just like set it aside. And then when I my COVID finally cleared up, then I was like, you know what? Let's just do a night of cringe with this because like it's it's almost an hour long. I don't really have any other, I don't have any like anything stockpiled for tonight. So I was like, fuck it, it's perfect. And yeah, you know, we're, that's what we're doing. <laughs> that's what we're doing tonight. Talk about this fucking documentary. And I had to skim through it again because I had to make a thumbnail. So yeah, I've, I've seen a couple things that I don't like already. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we should. Oh, hang on a sec. Get up. Oh, zombie chicks, $2 super chat. The stuff with his girlfriend is painful. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. L let's do this. Let's just rip off the band aid. Um. Ugh. <laughs> when I'm on my deathbed. The biggest regret I, ha I will ever have is knowing that I had a job that every person in the world would fucking kill for. See, all we already we starting in on that bullshit. <laughs> like, kill, kill my dude, kill, and everyone. <laughs> this kind of you're kind of exaggerating. You're taking it too. You're stretching it a little too thin already. I, I, I mean, yeah, it is a very lucky job. It's a very privileged job. If if you're really good at it and you can make money off it, off it, uh, to sustain your life, like goddamn, like every every person would kill for, like, bro, so <laughs> already it's like that narcissism is kicking in. Uh, REB, $4 super chat. It's a little doggy. Thank you. Dr. Cataclysm, $2 super chat. I bet it's painful that double fupa don't play. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Derek, uh, let's sum it up quick. Suffers from fatness, cringe, likes the N-word, true martyr. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, already. Just like, sh just shut up. Sh shut up, bro. <laughs> shut up, boogie. Fuck it up. I'm gonna be mad about that till I go to the fucking grave. I'm gonna be fucking mad at myself. It's like, cause he does. It's not like he said he'll be mad at himself. Like yeah, he said he he fucked it up. But notice how he doesn't say he'll he'll be mad at himself. It's always like if, <coughs> you kind of notice this that he sounds like everything out of his mouth. Like when he tries to take responsibility for something, it still sounds like he's blaming somebody else. <laughs> like some separate entity is fucking his life up as if it's not even him but whatever boogie2988 he's a legend of youtube he's been around forever you know you know what the weird thing is his hang on uh <laughs> love how they got some fat guy to, <laughs> to simulate it but you know what the funny thing is he looks more wholesome with his jacked up teeth he looks like more of an asshole with, with straight white teeth. <laughs> Just think that's funny. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not clowning. Not really. I'm not really clowning the documentary, but <laughs> it's the fact that like it's all like the documentary, the edit, like the dramatic editing, the, like the light moving on his face and the graphics and shit. I'm just like, it's Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it feels like almost like parody. How the fuck am I supposed to take this seriously? Cyburns, fourteen ninety nine super chat. Uh, three quarters of the documentary feels like those sus relationship documentaries on YouTube. Jack Diamond, five dollars super chat. Good evening, Qu uh, Queen Lauren Motifa, Laquisha Love on the third. You streamed on a work day, so I'll have to mostly listen to your hilarious commentary. Oh, thank you. And I hope you're surviving at work. That's just so fucking funny to me. <laughs> it's hilarious. My life is a cauldron of energy drink. <laughs> and my veins are filled with a mayonnaise of content, of discontent. <laughs> just, ah, um, TGV Monster, five dollars super chat. I love your work, Jay. Make me laugh so much I can't drink drink without nearly choking. Great, thank you. Walking down the street, chest naked. Look, look, I'm sorry, Mike Clum. I'm sorry. But there's certain shit you did not need to do. <laughs> this is unnecessary. <laughs> but his dog, too, like, that's, yeah, that's, why? <laughs> Mackie Skyfire, all the Super Jack, glad to have you back and doing well. Have you seen the Pandaverse? I've seen clips here and there. Seems like the, you know, funny enough. Oh, Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $2 Super Jet. Thoughts on the new Shadowverse cards? Oh, here we go with this shtick. Uh, Quatrina VR. Wait until you see the tub scene, Jay. Like, shh, shh, shh. 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 <laughs> but they really had this motherfucker. Like, look at this! It just makes me laugh because it's buggy! <laughs> if this was anyone else. I'd be like, oh, well, this, yeah, this is really, not, well, not anyone else. If this was not, no, if this was not a YouTuber, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, this, uh, this looks like a very well done documentary, a very tasteful, well done documentary. But it's Boogie, and I'm like, what, what the fuck? He's walking down the street dramatically with no fucking shirt on! <laughs> the dramatic gun points. And that whole edit, like, that, that people like to do now, like, we're, the face, like, the face is pointing forward, and then you have, like, the face, you have the face pointing to the side, and then you have the, the face pointing forward inside uh, the mask effect. Like, yeah. Mike Kloom. For a period of nine months, I had exclusive access to the day and day schedule, personal time. Uh, there was one girl. <laughs> the topics explored in this film could be upsetting to some viewers. The topic being Boogie. <laughs> I don't know if I should talk about this. No! Part one, Goy. I don't know what the fuck that means. But yeah, is this also necessary? Like, if you can't show his dick, it's just, it is ass, like, just don't, <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that anyway. But what's the point of showing him bathing? What's the point? <laughs> what's the fuck? Because he's got to put fucking beach, beach shorts uh, on during the whole scene. Anyway, so, like, what, what's the, like, I'm not saying you should show this motherfucker naked, <laughs> but I'm just asking why show him bathing. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why can't you just be sitting down in the dark, reflecting? Three Paragon, five dollars, super chat, glad you're feeling better. My Chaco, darling. I feel like Boogie was more genuine as his Francis character than any other time. Uh, 
Elliskind, I think that's what that says. Five pound super chat. Can't wait to watch this guy's legit hard on for depression once again. <coughs> This mic, but I'm going to. There was one. Oh, going broke. One girl that I dated. <laughs> she liked a lot of childish things. She liked rubber ducks. That's why I have some of these. Oh, wait, wait, what do you have? Childish. Mike, but I'm going to. There was one girl that I dated. She liked a lot of childish things. Here we go. <laughs> she liked a lot of childish things. I'm just saying, like, yeah, he would always admit some shit that no normal man would admit in public. He just has a habit of doing that. She liked rubber ducks. That's why I have some of these rubber ducks. Yeah, it's all, it was her. That's why she had it. I mean, that's why you had it, because she had it. You didn't have to keep him, motherfucker. <laughs> and one of my favorite memories... Like... <laughs> Maybe he's just a serial killer and he just keeps, he just buys a rubber ducky for each kill. <laughs> with her is us setting in this tub. Favorite memory. Hang on, hang on. Ducks. That's why I have some of these rubber ducks. And one of my favorite memories with her is us setting in this tub, her playing with rubber ducks as I, I washed her and then I, when we got out, I took her to bed. One of the best nights of my life, Mike, happened right here. Right? Like, it didn't end with either of you eating gummy bears off each other, so I know you're lying. <laughs> Plum Crack Jones, $2 Super Chat. So Boogie is not Jay Longbone approved, man candy. <laughs> no. 1990 BJK, seven ninety nine Super Chat just clicked onto the stream, and that visual was like a punch in the face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Also, his titties. <laughs> his titties look like, you know how they have cushions? Like those fucking Ikea couches where it's just like a bench and then you put like a couch cushion on the seats and on the back of the bench. Yeah, his fucking titties look like <laughs> a couch cushion. <coughs> look, and I look like an Ikea couch cushion. Your rent's due, motherfucker. Like a novelty Ikea couch, couch cushion. Somebody make that. Just a troll. Just make a boogie, flabby titty Ikea couch cushion. <laughs> Pale white, due, just fucking chest hair. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. Every fucking time. Base nerd, just saying hi, hello. It's nigga. This motherfucker is regressing in front of our very eyes. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Playing with my rubber duckies on camera as my life falls apart. <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to financial approach, I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Money comes in, money goes out. For the longest time, my ex-wife handled this <coughs> shit and I got divorced. I don't know where my money is. I don't know what it's doing. The only thing I... I don't know where I want to hear. I don't know. But he know... Because <laughs> apparently, like, I did skim through this. But apparently he's broke. You don't know where your money is. But you, knew, but you do know that it's gone. <laughs> <sighs> Already, that's a really hefty... <laughs> pun intended. Contradiction. I've ever done with it is I threw it into crypto and then lost a shitload of it. Well, here's everything. If you want to see, there's 2,000. Look how pruny, how long has he been in that fucking tub? <laughs> His fingers are pruny as shit. My fingers have never gotten that pruny from being in the tub. How long have you been, nigga, how long have you been in there? 
looks like he's been there for maybe a couple hours. $2,758 in my bank account right now. And let's see if mortgage has come out yet. So tomorrow when they take mortgage out, I'll have about $700 to live off of until the 20th when I get paid again from YouTube. So I'm just going to live off of $700. And I'll probably sell- Oh no, the pain, the agony. Sell some cards along the way. And you like yeah, after all my bills get paid, I'll only have $700 to live on. For one thing, if your house bills and you like your light bill and all that shit's already paid, um, se l living on seven hundred dollars is not bad. <laughs> like, but you know, he should, you know, he could be selling his house. Cause I'm pretty sure it's expensive, but we all know that's not gonna happen. Use that money to make ends meet as well. I have a credit card with them that I owe six hundred dollars on. And on top of that, I stole $163,000 on my house. I think my net worth is... I thought you didn't know what money was, you big baby. Zero. <laughs> Once you pull the equity out of that... Hi, Fujimoto. You could save 700 bucks, like, right? Exactly. House. <laughs> get rid of the house debt. Sell off all my collectibles. And pay off all my debts. I think that puts me at zero dollars. Shit. Shit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back. <laughs> At zero dollars. Shit. I'm worthless. I, like, yeah, I didn't believe that boogie. You have to do another take. <laughs> that fucking acting, bro. The acting. Shit. I'm worthless. <laughs> it's like, bruh. You re you you recited that like you lost your keys. Oh shit! I'm worthless. Where'd that worth go? God damn it! <laughs> you said that like you like, like you lost something. Oh, do it over, Mike. Do do second takes, bro. <laughs> you know he's acting. <laughs> Yeah, this is the hard part. Back to reality. Despite oh. gastric bypass, Boogie oh. continues to struggle with his weight. No shit. <laughs> He's attempting oh. to save the 20k to remove the excess What? What? What, <laughs> what fucking excess gate? You gotta be. You gotta be kidding me. That's a joke, right? That's got to be a fucking joke. What excess skin on his ass? Like he's all, he, like he's all filled in. Like <laughs> it's Mac, it's at maximum. His skin is at maximum occupancy. <laughs> what fucking loose skin? I gotta, I gotta save up twenty k to get all this skin, nigga. You got plenty of time <laughs> to to raise twenty k. To get loose skin, to remove loose skin that you do not fucking have. <laughs> you got time, bruh. But my best feature, this is the one the ladies love. I Don't do it, please. I'm already like cringing looking at you. I call it my meat apron. I have two meat curtains. I have to like r remove this skin. Cause it's gonna make such a difference in my appearance if I don't. <laughs> oh my god! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <coughs> this motherfucker. Oh. There's a second one. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Honestly. If I was a dude, I'd just lie and say my dick was huge. <laughs> I'd just stuff that in my underwear and be like, yeah. <laughs> Feel that shit. Three Paragon $5 Super Chat. I'm sure if he fasted for a week, he would save a couple thousand. <laughs> People are not Two happy in chat right now. <laughs> glorious meat curtains. I don't like showing it to people and people don't. 
like showing it to people. That's why I'm showing it to how many views does this have? <laughs> I don't like showing this to people. That's why I'm showing it to 3.7 million people. Um, that's why I'm showing it to this man with a camera in my bathroom while I am fucking half naked. Uh, <laughs> this, all of this is just, it's just fun. I shouldn't use this as a thumbnail. This is funny. I'm gonna cap this. <laughs> I find this funny. <laughs> but yeah, um, bruh. You're not as shy as you let on. Like seeing it. So that's why I'm going to die alone. He's so self-deprecating and funny. Even though he's not. <laughs> I, I can't stand people. Uh. Honestly, I can't stand people who like purposely say, oh, I'm going to kill myself. Ha ha ha. Like, I can't stand people who like make jokes. No. You can make jokes about killing yourself, but like, it's like how he did it. You are clearly fishing for fucking sympathy. Shut up. I can't stand motherfuckers like that. Like who like, they say it in a way that's not confident. They'll tell the joke in a way it's not confident because they secretly want the sympathy. Oh, don't say things like that. That's just, you sound depressed. Like they want you to fall on over them. I'm like, just shut up, <laughs> just shut up. If you're gonna joke, you can just do it already. If you're gonna fucking joke, you're gonna do that. Scott C, Scott, yeah, Scott Ski, O2, $2 super chat. Watching this is gonna give you super corona, I bet. Uh, T. Jason, uh, 435, 199 super chat. What did I come in on? Oh God, my eyes. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't even call that a bath. You had shorts on, my dude. You had shorts on. Did he leave the room when you were washing your balls? Because that wasn't no, that wasn't a bath. Well, my real name is Steve Williams. Uh, I'm known online as Boogie2988 because there's a lot of famous Steve Williamses and I'm not one of them, right? <laughs> Pity me. <laughs> Alice Kynes. Five pound super chat. Isn't it crazy how he was once one of the big YouTubers worth uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars? Uh, worth hundreds of thousands, and instead of paying off his house, he puts all all of it in crypto. Yeah, he's not very smart. <laughs> he's not very smart. I'm going to put all my money into something totally unstable, like crypto. It's like, eh. Two nine eight eight because there's a lot of famous Steve Williamses, and I'm not one of them, right? That's why I got a documentary based on me because I'm not famous. <laughs> I know I'm being petty, but Jesus Christ, this shit, this, this type of shit brings out the worst in me. Uh, I started a YouTube channel back in 2006, right at the very beginning. Yeah, thanks for getting the curve of his ass in the shot. I was like, I was like, I, I was needing some masturbation fuel <laughs> today. <laughs> Mike Klum, you're a you're an asshole. <laughs> and I got famous for comedy sketches as well as like life vlogs and and just sharing my personal life with other people. What's up, ladies What's and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie to nine eight eight coming at you. My ankle on my left leg. Yeah, look how much ho more wholesome he looked with his jacked up teeth. Find that interesting. Uh, ni nineteen ninety BJK seven ninety nine super chat. Uh. Is I don't know if showing the part about bankruptcy and foreclosure while he was playing with rubber duckies was supposed to be hilarious as it was. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm still wondering if this is fucking like a troll on him because <laughs> it did the ab absolute opposite. It had the absolute opposite effect of what Boogie was looking for. So I I don't know. I don't know. Poisoned cupcake. The petty uh, makes this bearable. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it bearable, girl. Thank you, JL. You're welcome. Five, uh, three Paragon, $5 Super Chat. He's not drying those deep folds very thoroughly. Please don't, like, don't bring it. Don't bring that to our attention. Uh, Joe, John, Joe Jameson. He's doing the YouTuber equivalent of Shia LaBeouf. Wearing a paper bag on his head that says, I'm not famous anymore. 
can have. Um, but that's just the kind of woman I married. So give her some love in the comment section. Give her as much money as I used to make, and it's not. 2018 views per video. 2023. Um, why does that look? See, both of these numbers look highly exaggerated. This being too low, and this being too high. <laughs> I'm sorry, shit, fuck this. I mean, this being too low, and this being too low. They're both, no, you fuck, yeah, they're both too low. I went to his channel just to make sure if that was accurate. It's not really. <laughs> I went to, I looked at his videos a few, like four months, four months back. Like, no, the views aren't that bad. I think at, yeah, the least amount is 17K, but that's not his, all of his videos are not like in the teens. Like some of them are like 70K, some are 50, some 40. Um, that's, that's just the lowest number of one, like maybe a couple of his videos. So it's kind of, exa it's just exaggerated. And I don't believe like a motherfucker with 4 million was only getting 280,000 views per video. That's it. And again, wasn't he a peak cringe by that point? He probably was. I don't know. But like, I think, I think both of these numbers are exaggerated. This is where I spend six to eight hours a day. Yellow flesh. Oh, yellow flesh should have used the average. Yeah. Trying to figure out. How I don't. To... I don't think they did that. <laughs> oh, let's go. As much money as I used to make, and it's not exactly enough to make ends meet. Just. This is where I spend six to eight hours a day. It's not Trying... enough to make ends meet. How the fuck you been living? Still living in this house for so long? I mean, there's a quote from. Uh, um... Fuck, the Dark Knight Rises, like, even the rich don't go broke, like the rest of us. You know, when Bruce Wayne got to keep the house, <laughs> but all his other shit was taken away. It's like, yeah, you, you broke, but you ain't broke, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, technically, I don't even think he's broke anyway, because I, I heard that his story doesn't really add up in this documentary, but, you know, we'll get to that to figure out how to save and clean up your fucking house my career what's up ladies and gentlemen of youtube bigger than i did any kind of show i was getting to the power of the internet and today let's talk a little bit about why you got to do better than i did right <laughs> i've told the audience i told you guys I've told i think this is a an ongoing theme because i think at one point he was wearing a andy kaufman t-shirt and now he's wearing and now he's watching Andy Kaufman on his television. Are you trying to tell us something? Is this some kind of like deep hidden messaging that oh, a self-destructive asshole with a famous character? Yeah, because no. <laughs> no, no, no. Not the same thing. Everybody, this is the center of my world right here in this recliner with my dogs, watching television, playing video games on that television. But my yeah. income is 5k, but my expenses are seven. Well, why don't you get a smaller house, bitch? <laughs> the audio on this. And look at all this. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's go back. <laughs> We're going to go back. Playing video games on Let's that look television. look at this shit. But the other day, <laughs> the. Damn it. Wait, yeah, I think. Damn it, damn it, damn it. The audio on this TV started to go out. No, damn it. I want to look at the shit. Yes. Yeah. Look at all these goddamn controllers. There's only two people in this fucking house. And you've got one. I think that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus that shit. Then you got a PS5. Oh, God. This is too much shit. <laughs> Will Spain to all the super chat at this point. I have more respect for DSP. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> like there's only two people in the, in the house and you have this many controllers. You could be selling shit. Shrink your TV. Like I'd be going all out. Like you got to at least, I think that's at least a, either a 70 or 75 inch television. Lower that shit to about 50 and sell that one. <laughs> Get a get a TV that's fifty and get rid of, and sell that one. Three Paragon five dollars super chat for people like us that struggle constantly. I have the deepest resentment for privilege you could fall from grace. 
in this recliner with my dog. And look at, yeah, look at all this shit. All this withering shit. I think that is just like a stick that makes noise. <laughs> you got the Thanos hand. Thanos, we haven't thought about that motherfucker in like three years. <laughs> three, four years. All these damn arcade games. Like, yeah, yeah. All of this, I'm thinking, is at least four grand right here altogether. Your rent's due, motherfucker. Watching television, playing video games on that television. But the other day, <laughs> the audio on this TV started to go out. Quatrina, you were, Jay, you were literally predicting the best parts of the dog. Oh, shut up! Shut up! <laughs> and whenever it would make like S sounds, it would crackle. And so, I know I'm budgeting, but I immediately went to Amazon and bought a sound bar for a hundred bucks. And then the next day, the TV stopped crackling. And now I have a hundred dollar sound bar that I don't need. I think that's a fucking excuse. I think he's lying about the crackling thing. I've never, like once the TV, the audio starts crackling, that's usually, it usually just stays that way. Once the audio gets fucked up, I've never had a TV where the audio started fucking up and then stopped fucking up the next day. I think he used that as an excuse. <coughs> to buy something. There's anything. I just need to buy something. But I know I'm supposed to be budgeting right now, but because that's my TV, because that's my only source of entertainment, because it's the only thing I do. Nigga, it's 70 to 75 inches. Shut the, you acting like you got a little box TV, a little, like, 15-inch box TV. Shut up. It's six, 75, it's 70, 75 inch TV. This is my only source of entertainment, and he's surrounded by goddamn arcade games. It's my only source of entertainment, and oh, oh, like truckloads of toys fall out of his fucking closet. It's one of the only things that bring me peace. Like, I'm like, I have to be able to hear my fucking TV. Oh, Jason, James Moore, like, dude, you have a PC? Like, oh, yeah, I forgot all about that shit. You got a gaming PC, you got internet. Got all these fucking toys, the arcade games. This is my only source, and the PS5. And this is my only source of the TV. He's acting like he's some like senile grandma. <laughs> like her, her only solace is the TV. That's all she has anymore. <laughs> Meanwhile, this nigga got all other sources of entertainment besides the fucking television. His seventy to seventy-five inch television and PS5. God damn it. But that's every addict, right? Like Mitch Hedberg said. Yeah, nigga, you an addict. Stop downplaying that shit. Uh, Dingus Jones, 199 Super Chat. What's this Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption music? I have no idea. Uh, uh, excuse me. Lance, 199 Super Chat. What's with this depression era harmonica music? See, he's from the South and he's pathetic. That's why. <laughs> Evil Hero D Diamond Cat, two dollars super chat. Jay, didn't you spend four K monthly on Shadowverse? <laughs> what is it with you and Shadowverse? I'll just do enough heroin. Hey, look at all this shit. Look at all this shit. And then he like the TV is my only source of entertainment. <laughs> OD on heroin, right? So I guess every addict tries to manage the addiction, but I don't know, man. Oh, Master Chief, this is the second worst thing you've been in in 2023. <laughs> hey, go back, go back. Yeah, Master Chief, this is the second worst thing he's been in <laughs> this year. I don't know, man. You were talking about compulsive spending a minute ago? Yeah. Dude, I spent a lot of stuff on, a lot of money on stuff. You know where a lot of the money went? Oh. I think I know where this is going. I think I remember somebody talking about this part. And, like, it felt really compulsive at the time. Hoers! <laughs> you know where the money really went? You know what? They should have just, like, you know what? They should have cut from, you know where the money really went? And just cut to hoers. Just cut to the hooker. That would have been hilarious.
But no, they had to like fill it in with him, random shot with him, of him driving. Like I'm not, I'm not really criticizing Mike Klum. I'm just like making a joke. But so that would that would have been funny. That would have been funny. Between 2018 and 2021, Boogie spent over 200k on sex workers across the U.S. Ugh. <laughs> I spent all my money on crypto. That's where the money went, and that was just an unfortunate little freak accident. Oh, by the way, I spent 200 uh, 200k in three years <laughs> on hookers. One of his escorts agreed to it. No, why? <laughs> why? Former sex worker escort and Boogie2988 was one of my clients. I'm from LA and I get a message on this website. You can probably guess which one from this guy who looked a lot like Boogie. I took women on vacations and I took them out to fancy dinners and I took them to like like vacations, you're a, you took a hooker on a vacation. You're a fucking chump, <laughs> you idiot. Uh, hypno, hypno toad, five dollars super chat. Who's your favorite low cow? Wings, DSP, Boogie, Chris. So like, I don't really, um, I don't really rank people. Like I, I'm not really familiar with DSP. I just I know of him, and I don't, I don't really care about DSP. And yeah, I don't really rank these people because it's kind of sad. <laughs> Yellow flesh, this woman has seen things. Disneyland and shit. He bought me dinner. He got me a purse that we were talking about over my- I took hookers to Disneyland. We fingered on the little teacup ride and horrified plenty of- <laughs> and horrified plenty of families. Such as, and he got me a couple gift cards and- Paul Gerard Maximilian, uh, $2 super chat is always host. <laughs> he spent well over 5000 on just that night. Had her a purse, gave her gift cards. What kind of fucking $500 in gift card? Like, for one thing, if you're, like, if we're talking about a hook, well, no. I never understood gift cards. <laughs> like, oh... Like twenty five dollars for Amazon gift card. Like, what the fuck you gonna get on Amazon for what with one twenty five dollar gift card? Like just one thing. I'm just saying, like this because uh, they said five hundred dollars worth of gift cards. Gift cards this is plural. Like what was she getting? <laughs> like little edible panties to spice up their their night. Errol Jones five dollar super chat. Uh, what's the saying, Jay? You've got to pick. <laughs> You've got to pick your heart. He chose to prioritize his leisure interests over his physical and professional development. Yeah, true. Wolf Spain, $2 super chat. Don't know if it's in this, but one hoe quit because of him. Okay, man, don't stop spoiling it! Shh, shh. Bog in the Lurker, $2 super chat. TMI, the movie. <laughs> you know the rules. The oh, and the escort fees. Or was that, or was that like her total? Fee? That might have been just her total fee. Because I'm like, like I hope you're not like I hope this is not like DoorDash, and I got paid delivery fees for my hose. Because <laughs> because that seems silly. Rules are we're gonna go out and eat, we're gonna have dinner, maybe we're gonna fuck, and maybe we're gonna fuck. <laughs> Wait, you said that? Maybe we're gonna fuck. Maybe we're gonna fuck like. One thing, Boogie, you don't fuck. You have sex. <laughs> you're a very large, you're a very large, pathetic man. You have sex. You do not fuck. <laughs> so just take that word out of your vocabulary, please. Fuck implies that there was some fun and pleasure to be had for both parties. Having sex is going through the mood. It's like, it's just the, yeah, it's the act. It's like d d a description of the act. And that's what you do. You just do. You just do the mechanics. You don't fuck anybody. <laughs> Shit. Uh, three paragon five dollars super super 
<laughs> Fight out Super Chat 4 Dash. Oh my god. Bust nut make love. Um, hey, I'm sure he doesn't do that either. The rules are we're gonna go out and eat. We're gonna have dinner. Maybe we're gonna fuck. Fuck. And you're gonna enjoy a nice lifestyle that you don't know. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna fuck. <laughs> I only get to enjoy. So he was really funny. I can definitely tell he was nervous. Um, he did eat a lot of food. I'm pretty sure he got two entrees, which was very unique. It's not a revelation. <laughs> very unique. He's a fat fuck. <laughs> this is so back backhanded. <clears throat> Dear God. I like beautiful women. I like to hang out with beautiful women. Fuck beautiful women. We all do. He likes to fuck beautiful women. Now you have sex with them. I know. And if they're hookers, does it really count? It's not like you going out and like, oh, you ran into somebody like Scarlett Johansson and you're like, yeah, I like to fuck beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? Or like he picks up some like regular models. It's like, no. <laughs> You buy hookers, it's not the same thing. Alice Skyn, uh, two pound super chat, uh, 2,500 to get the past, <laughs> to get past the meat aprons, Jesus Christ. Ebony Williams, Jay, I think yours might be my favorite reaction to this documentary. Thank you. I'm, I, am having, I am having fun watching this so far. Never got to do that. The women I dated were pretty sure but they were like Arkansas eights, <laughs> not LA tens, which- Nigga, nigga, nigga you an Arkansas a ton. <laughs> you're, you're, talking, you're talking shit about the women in your region. You gotta be kidding me. They were Arkansas eights. Sugaring, I got to fuck some LA tens and I think that's cool. They were hookers, dude, it's not the same thing. It's not the same. Like you think, I'm sure like some Hollywood actors have had, have had to get hookers at one point, but at the same time, like they can get more regular pussy on their own than like having to buy it. 1990 BJK 299 Super Jet. Maybe he can't even get a prostitute in the bed. <laughs> Yellow Flash too. Didn't Boogie adopt a small child recently? I hope fucking not. He gonna eat that little bastard <laughs> when the winters come and I can only buy two th 200 Funko Pops instead of the 500. We're gonna have to eat the child to survive. <laughs> oh God. We got back to the hotel and I do regret to say that I slept with Boogie 298. Oh damn, I regret to say that I slept with this motherfucker. And he's like, you're a hooker. He like, you're not really like, it's not like you haven't fucked a, a, a nasty motherfucker. You know what I mean? I regret to say that, that this, this nigga right here, <laughs> I regret fucking this guy. I probably fucked the most, some of the most horrible people in the world. Probably didn't even know it, maybe. But this nigga right here? <laughs> Hurry, B fight out super chat. This isn't the flex he thinks it is. I know. Yellow flesh too. Well, adult child. Oh, you mean his girlfriend. <laughs> Overall, the experience. This better be B-roll footage. Like, this better be like stock footage. I hope you did not get a fucking actress. <laughs> I hope you did not set up a hotel room with Boogie and some actress to reenact the fucking scene, Mike Klum. I hope you did not do that. And I don't mean to fat shame or anything. Hold on, Ryan, okay. Ryan. Overall, the experience, and I don't mean to fat shame or anything, but there- Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't mean to fat shame or anything. Here comes the fat shame. There's rolls upon rolls upon rolls, and it took me a lot of time to find a stick. Oh, God. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, it's no surprise. That's not surprising.
but it is hilarious and embarrassing. <laughs> well, let's, let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. Overall, the experience, and I don't mean to fat shame or anything, but there was rolls upon rolls upon rolls, and it took me a lot of time to find a stick. You see how, like, this new sentiment, like, this new age sentiment we have, like, I don't mean to fat shame, I don't mean to be racist, I don't mean to be, I'm not racist or anything, but, you know, that whole overly sensitive shit? This is how you know it's, like, complete bullshit. Like, she says, I don't mean to fat shame or anything, but there are rolls upon rolls upon rolls upon rolls upon rolls upon rolls. <laughs> I couldn't find his little baby dick because there were rolls upon rolls upon rolls. <laughs> like just not gonna I don't mean to fetch him. Yes you do. You just did. That was horrible. Let me parry on find all the super chat. Finder's fee. Oh my god. <laughs> Lady Rack, 199 super chat. Do you think he puts his meat curtains on the back? Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! I am not married with two kids and sleeping with See, now I know why you're anonymous. Because you married with two kids. That motherfucker probably doesn't know a fucking thing. Boogie is one of the reasons I quit sex work. Oh, Boogie. Like I, I, like I said, I've probably fucked some of the worst people imaginable as a hooker. <coughs> probably been slapped around, maybe. But this, this nigga right here? Rolls upon, Mr. Rolls upon rolls? <laughs> Here's the reason I had to quit this shit. God damn. Th that's the equivalent of a woman saying, I, I was with this nigga and then realized I was a lesbian. <laughs> like, no, I, I, after that motherfucker, I, I was off men and I, it was women. Yo, oh, Mackie Sky, $2 super chat. I'm dead, Jay. This is killing me. I like to fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's... <coughs> <coughs> Tell you this video is reinfecting me. Like that nigga's suave. Like he's Christian Gray. Get the fuck out of here. Paul Gerard Maximilian, two dollars super chat. Boogie should pay her again for the extra work. Lance one ninety nine super chat. Boogie isn't fat. He's omega fat. <laughs> oh boy. Is that sexist to me? Sure. Income from her night with Boogie helped fund her nursing degree. <laughs> well, some good got out of it. Too, yeah, some good came out of that. Uh, oogly Boogly, 299 Super Chat. I'm three seconds away from declaring total celibacy. Is that womanizing me? Sure, I don't really care. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a 48 year old man. I never. Two kids and sleeping with Boogie is one of the reasons I quit sex work. Is that sexist to me? Sure. Is that womanizing me? Sure. I don't really care. Um, I'm a 48 year old man. I never got to fuck a model. This let hookers are not models. <laughs> like it's not like you went out with Paulina poor a fucking scova. Or wait, no wait. Is that a tennis player or a model? <laughs> I think I got it mixed up. It's not like you went out with like um, what's her name? It's not like you went out with Tyra Banks or some shit. You got hookers. It's not the same thing. Jack Diamond, five dollars super jet. Uh, booger doing God's work by making whores question their profession when they fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same thing as picking up Giselle Bunchen. Like it's not the same thing. It's not like you got him on your charisma. You called a number. You told him like bring in, sl bring in sloppy, <laughs> bring in sloppy Sally for a good fuck. And then you like that, and that's it. That's what you did. This, they're not models. That's not how that works. Let me fuck a couple of models. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? I mean, when it's you, <laughs> Eric Chung, two dollars super chat, Christian Gravy. Oh my! God. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one, Christian Gravy. <laughs> no, you did not. Oh shit, uh, Gethsemane, Gethsem I know how to pronounce this, Gethsem, 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 uh, Geth, 
I'm saying Gath, fucking two dollars super chat. Jay, why are you watching Free Willy get his freak on? Here we have some of the women in this area that are local and ready to go out. They'll yeah, thanks for showing their faces. I'm sure they appreciate that. They'll go to dinner with you. They'll go to a show with you. Maybe they'll come back to your place. But they are. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly private that website, but still, I still wouldn't show their faces. They're expecting something in exchange. Uh, but then it's Nova B four ninety nine right? super chat rolls upon rolls upon rolls. Uh, Soapy Cappy, two dollars super chat. Uh, Jay uh, Wongbone versus Lukey, two nine eight eight battle of the century. Like any other meat market, like Tinder, you kind of meat market. Oh, uh, that's a thing. Window shopping, right? Like any other meat market, like Tinder, you. I I mean, I'm not surprised he calls it a meat market. I'm not surprised he thinks women are nothing but meat. I mean, look at him. He would have to. <laughs> He associates women with food. I mean, that's surprising. Kind of scroll down the, the list of photos until you find someone that looks interesting to you. I think this girl's really cute. Oh yeah, yeah. She's definitely a little thicker than I necessarily would always go for, but there's nothing. Nigga, throw yourself down some stairs. <laughs> She's a little thicker than what I'm used to. Just a little thicker, thicker than a snicker. By the way, like could, I can't reach the drawer that's like two centimeters away from me. Mike, can you give me my Snickers? <laughs> you shut the fuck up. She's a little thicker than what I'm used to. That was a low key. Um, that was a brag right there. That was a brag. I yeah, I'm fat, and you expect me to be with fat bitches, but I'm used to being with fit women. Like shut the fuck up. Devontae C, Tanella Super Chat, why? <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's fucking slick. You ain't slick. Nothing wrong with that. So I- He says, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. <laughs> then I necessarily would always go for, but there's nothing wrong with that. Even the way he says things, it's just like, I know you don't mean it, you dumbass. <laughs> so I deserve to go to Disneyland with a beautiful girl, right? I deserve to go to, to New York and explore. I deserve! <laughs> Baby, I deserve for you to roll me in 10 pounds of flour. Baby, I deserve for <laughs> But, uh, I deserve, I have to deserve this. It's like the entitlement to this motherfucker. I deserve whores. I deserve these whores. I deserve to go to the meat market and pick up or like 120 pounds of ground chuck. So I can feck. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's weird. Like when you talk about like cars and houses, like I deserve this house. I worked hard, God damn it, I deserve this house, this car. Like that's different from saying I deserve this. Like it's almost like borderline. Like what would happen if they, if like, if, if the good Lord saw it fit for you not to have these women or not have access to these women. Like, what are you, <laughs> what are you gonna, what would you do, Boogie? Like, despite you being rich, rich, um, cause like, yeah, it's just the attitude. Like I deserve these bitches. It's like, no, that sounds a little sketch. Meme fight all the super chat. Good thing Carl's not here. He might have a heart attack. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm 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 sparing him this time. Times Square with a beautiful girl. We're not even ten minutes in, by the way. Right, like I deserve that, and I want that, and I've never had it. Yeah, you want that. Deserve is relative in that in this case, motherfucker. Like yeah, people work hard. Yeah, but they deserve, like like the shit. Like they deserve what they earn. You didn't earn those women. You bought them. <laughs> You bought them. It's not the same thing. So, so really, he's like basically putting the worth of a woman is is equal amounts as the worth of a car or a house, which is fucked up. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. It's a little fucked up. It's really fucked up. 
Or, or even even the food he buys. It's like everything is like uh, yeah, it's all um it's all physical media to him. <laughs> Man, if I had that money back, that would be half of my mortgage right now. That thousand dollars is my entire health insurance payment. I don't know what the trust is. Only a hundred thousand? Come on, only a hundred thousand? I don't think you can see my cursor on stream, but like I'm circling boogie like only a hundred thousand? Uh, three Paragon, five dollars super chat. Don't know how he thought this would help him. If I saw this guy in public, I would tell him to fuck right the hell off. Just get with it, and I hope they spend it in, in good health. Wait, hang on, Roy, not, Roy, not. I don't know what the trustage is that was. Is my entire health insurance payment. I don't know what the trustage is that with it, and I hope they spend That was a weird cut. That was that was clearly a cut. I don't know what he might what fucked up thing he might have said, <laughs> or maybe like maybe it's just a cut to like cover up like a flub. I don't know. That was weird though. Like, but he says, "Oh, I don't know what the prostitutes did with it." Um, acting like like you're speaking like they like they lifted the money from you, like they stole from you. I don't know what, the, what those prostitutes did with it. Like, what the fuck do you think they did with it? <laughs> they put it into accounts and shit. Like, they built it up. They probably invested it, which is what your big ass should be doing. <laughs> and to better their lives so they don't have to fuck to fuck nasty niggas like you anymore. Bumcrack Jones, two dollars super chat. He deserves a mandatory gym membership. Ooh, Disparo, if this is kept in kept in imagine uh, if this is kept in, imagine what they cut out. Ugh. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> and but you know it'd be rolls upon rolls upon rolls. <laughs> <sighs> God damn it, come on. Uh, but I sure could use that shit right now. You know? Those whores, they just sucked me dry. I don't know where the money, where the, where the money went. <laughs> well, you want to go for a walk? So you can, you know. That sound bar is still there, by the way. <laughs> that dog's face right there. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Like, oh God, you smell like fucking cabbage. <laughs> That's the face. What's, he, you can't tell me he doesn't know. <laughs> Leo up, baby, I know. We'll go in a second. You are not just a dog. You are my sanity. You are my happiness. You are my therapist and my best friend. Until I get too broke and then you're my dinner. <laughs> You know, Boogie's the type of person that if, as soon as he has to live in a house that costs less than 50K, he's going to eat that dog. <laughs> he's going to eat that dog. Prep your brother. He's great. He's actually, I, I actually really love him a lot. <laughs> you don't really love him a lot. T. Jason, 435, 199, Super Oh, them wascally whores took my money. <laughs> And yeah, even, he doesn't even talk about his dogs sincerely. I, I don't even feel like he likes his dogs. That's how bad he is. I, I just love him. <laughs> Usually, when, like, when you get, when you see like a documentary of some asshole, like they have pro it, like they have problems with every fucking human being in their life. But as soon as they get to the animals, like that's the only like true expression of happiness they have. This motherfucker's just like, I'm taking my first shit. Oh boy, I love him. <laughs> Making me walk outside. <laughs> These little shit kicking bastards. Making me use my ankles. <laughs> Great. He's actually, I, I actually really love him a lot. I really love him a lot. Oh, and if I can move my ankles later, I'm going to show him how much I love him by sticking my foot up their ass. <laughs> In an attempt to make ends meet, Boogie is selling his possessions. I hope so. To sell them. Why hasn't he done it so far? Like, as soon as I would learn, if I had this much expensive shit and I learned that my house was about to get, was about to be taken away, all that shit's going. It's like, yard, not, well, not yard sale because you can't get that much from a yard sale, but it's like, yeah, yeah, eBay. 
immediately. The fact that all this that his shit, his, the fact that his house isn't nearly empty by now is ridiculous. To be able to live. So selling off these things kind of sucks. Because kind of sucks. Hey, nigga, your house is in jeopardy. It doesn't kind of suck. It really sucks. Because I've been playing Magic for 30 years, and some of the cards in this box, I opened back. Oh, wait, somebody made a good point. Kevin Schulbert, the rubber ducks go ahead of the dogs. <laughs> yeah, he was more happy about the rubber duckies <coughs> than he was his own fucking dogs. In fact, when he was in the tub, and the dogs were trying to, like, play around him, he was still, he was more enamored with the fucking duckies than the dogs. Damn, that was that's actually a good point. <laughs> I think he likes things more than people. Or like, no, he likes things more than living things. Because living things don't talk back and you can project your own little fantasy onto them. You know. That's why he buys hookers. Back in 1994, I opened them in like 96 and I've held on to them ever since. Bust nut. God, I hate this YouTube copyright free library music. I think this is a real song. And that's a, like, they're a piece of my childhood. They're a piece of my history. I thought I was going to get buried with this stuff. This is, this is my stuff. I was going to get buried with my my Magic the and, Gathering uh, card. I made some money off of YouTube last month, but I did not make enough without a sponsor or something. There's no way you only make... Like, there's no... <laughs> there's no way you only make, like, half... Like, twice as much as I do. There's, n there's no, not a... No. <laughs> I don't believe you. Four million... Subs and this is all you make. Get the fuck out of here. Like that, I just I'm not making enough, so we're gonna go <coughs> to the game shop. But this is gonna keep me from going out on the uh, on the streets, right? Like this is gonna keep me in a house. So this brew, we're gonna need a bigger box. I think he, I think it's bittersweet. I think he would find it bittersweet. He would have wished I. At this pay, at this pace, Boogie will be bankrupt in six months. He is bankrupt already. I mean, if he's telling the truth about how much money he makes. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I think he's bullshitting. Because he still streams on Twitch, right? He still gets donations from that shit, right? Because like that that money could probably surpass what he makes on YouTube. He probably makes he probably makes a nut like maybe twice as much doing that. Uh Dirk, so you admit making paper? <laughs> Lance 199 Super Chat, where did Wings versus Boogie Fight Money go? I think he touches on that. I think this broom, he gets 1.3 million views a month. No way is he only getting that. Yeah, yeah. I'm selling magic cards on whatnot. I'm selling collectibles on eBay. I'm selling arcade machines locally. I'll sell it all. Locally? You're only selling them locally? Probably because he doesn't want to have to spend money on shipping. Or spend like as much money on shipping, but motherfucker, you gotta spend money to make it. Some somebody might pay more for that shit somewhere else than locally. I'm selling it locally, and that for me, that doesn't sound quite right. Sell enough to help with mortgage. But I'm also gonna sell enough to be able to play magic tonight. Cause I don't want people wondering why I'm not there. I don't want people like knowing I'm broke. Like that's who gives a fuck? <laughs> who gives a fuck? Yeah, I'm broke right now, guys. Got a little bit of money issues. And plus, shouldn't they know that? Don't they know who the fuck you are on the, on the internet? They don't know? They don't know you're Boogie2988? Get the fuck out of here. They know you're broke already. <laughs> they know. You are so full of it. Get the fuck out of here. It's embarrassing that I can't afford thirty dollars to play magic, so I'm spending thirty bucks to play magic tonight. I gotta play magic, man. Okay, so this month I need from you about a thousand dollars to make mortgage. So I need you to pick out like a thousand dollars for the stuff like this. For one thing, don't start with that. Like everything he come, comes out of his mouth is just something like, please give me this amount of money because I am poor and I'm going to lose my house. Because <laughs> you didn't need to say that. You could say, I'm hoping to get a thousand. What a normal person would say is like, I'm, I'm hoping to get a thousand dollars out of this shit. You wouldn't tell people that. Like, I don't want people to know I'm broke, but he immediately fucking 
says <laughs> that I need a thousand dollars from you worth of work like that of cost of these cards. Because I'm not gonna make my work. I but I don't want anybody to know I'm broke. <laughs> Roy, Roy not? Roy not. Don't want people because I don't want people wondering why I'm not there. I don't want people like knowing I'm broke. Like that's okay. Now let's go back to this fucking scene. Okay, so this month I need from you about a thousand dollars to make mortgage. Yeah, you're full of shit. <laughs> you're a fucking liar. I don't want people to know my broke. It's so humiliating to me. Oh, by the way, I need a thousand dollars from you. Um, it's just to put urgent, just to put a fire under your ass. I need this. Th I need this thousand dollars for my fucking mortgage. Of fucking cards, which n t lets you know right there that he's selling fucking cards. He broke. So you a fucking lie. <laughs> uh, uh, three Paragon five dollars super chat. Christmas NOC, please. We'll see. I don't know. Because I might, who knows, I could, I could be doing shit Christmas, you know. I'm not living uh, with my father anymore, so I, this is probably a lot more, my life's probably going to be a lot more eventful on Christmas. B takes, $5 super chat. Being broke is the least embarrassing thing about him. True, true, true. Natto, $5 super chat. Don't want a fat shame, but this motherfucker had more You're roles than Tootsie Roll Factory. I felt like an origami master unfolding that shit, but yeah, no fat shame. <laughs> I don't want anyone to know I'm uh, I'm broke. And then it's, he starts broke baiting this fucking guy, <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> so I needed to pick out like a thousand dollars for stuff. Like there's a couple of cradles in there. There's a city. Of oh, Ruin Leon, what's up? I'm greatly offended by this documentary. Everybody cradles in there. Well, I could do two hundred a piece on this. How many cards does he have in there? This is like just four. What is that? What? Dude, I thought we were looking more like 400, 450. Also, that's some really bad acting from Boogie right there. What? <laughs> On each of these. Why do I feel like he asked for like multiple takes? I mean, I made a joke earlier about, well, yeah, Mike, you need to give him multiple takes because he's not a good actor. But I have a feeling that Boogie asked for multiple takes for reactions. 175 is what it's down to. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Those Good took lord. That tank. took a beating. Fuck. These are reserved list cards, Glenn. Yeah. They're not going anywhere but up. Okay. Well, you say that, but the dual lands went down. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's enjoying this shit? Like, I, ever since you came into this motherfucker, I've never liked you. <laughs> and now you broke. Hey! <laughs> Because he's just, what? He's smiling and like smirking through this whole thing. <laughs> like, he, I think he really doesn't like, has never liked him. Ever, like, because you know he's been coming here for years. Because he's lived in the same place for years. Um, And like every time he he comes in there and he's just, oh, this motherfucker is back. <laughs> he just hates, for whatever, like we already know how Boogie is. But like, for whatever reason. Something happened between these two, and he does not like this motherfucker. He just he hates him. And as soon as he found out he was going broke, <laughs> and this fucking documentary crew came in, he was like, "Oh, this nigga falling on hard times." <laughs> Score one for me. <laughs> I'm I'm wearing the orange Dragon Ball shirt tonight, nigga. <laughs> He's broke. He's never gonna be. He's gonna. He's not coming back here. Scottsky, Scottsky, O two five dollars super chat. I don't want a fat shame, but this fool putting the state puff marshmallow man to shame. Disparu, he used to have hair until until all the boogie stress. I like he's smirking and shit. Like, what, like what's the smirk about? Like, I think he's secretly enjoying this because he never liked him. I mean, yeah, all right. Because he's just smiling throughout this whole thing. As long as I'm getting mortgage money, as long as I can get some cards there tonight, okay. You, you do, you, you gave me these back. Mm -hmm. You want to set on? 
until I come back in here because I'm not gonna sell anybody else for you. Okay. Two. Okay, okay, get the fuck out. I hope I never see you again. Baroque ass. <laughs> What's paying for this? Shit, you're paying me back on my hair. <laughs> that don't hurt. What the hell is that? What's that green shit? It looks like that looks like the worst drink. <laughs> Pale green anything. What you, like what is that? <coughs> At this point I'm just picking it in anything. <laughs> I don't Wait a minute, does he have a PlayStation wallet? Rewind that. Let's go back a, a couple frames. I think that's a plate. Yeah, that's the triangle, circle, X, square. Oh my God. That is a PlayStation wallet. Oh, fuck you. That don't hurt. <laughs> to be fair. If anyone else had like quirky shit, like a PlayStation wall, I wouldn't care. But this is, if you're unlikable, I immediately like just pick at everything. Everything about you just angers me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of your, your whack ass PlayStation wallet. Dingy as fuck. Yeah, we all look the same in a game shop. It's because we're fucking outcasts. We're in a kind of small town. We're fucking autistic as shit. I don't believe you're autistic, Boogie. We're awkward around women. We're awkward around people. You're not awkward around women. You buying whores. You got a 20 year old at home. Shut the fuck up. Bull. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. And then I come back here and- He awkward. I'm also awkward around women. Uh, <laughs> I'm so awkward around women. By the way, the flesh market. I like to fuck LA 10s. <laughs> I like to fuck bitches. Is that, is that so hard to believe? A sexy ass nigga like me, like, <laughs> wait, what? okay, whatever. Ruined Leon, this is a great documentary to show everyone when it comes to managing money. True. <laughs> I'm looking at all the shit I need to sell and I'm surrounded by all the shit that I bought for YouTube videos. And Why haven't you sold all of this shit by now? I don't get it. You'd be flying off the fucking shell, uh, shelves, this shit. This brew is always awkward when they hand you a bill. And stuff, and it's hard to not think about what a fuck up I am, but that's why. Like Star Wars shit, like, come on. I go to the arc. Well, and then again, the way, like, Star Wars has a weird reputation now because Disney fucked it. So I don't know if that shit's going to be in demand like it used to. But the arcade games... And all this other shit, come on, dude. That's why I go to play Magic. That's why I have my That sound bar is still sitting there. <laughs> my friends over because for just a few hours. Is he wearing Crocs? Okay, that's why Hang I go to play Magic. And he's wearing Crocs. This dingy ass Crocs. Oh. That's why I have my friends over because for just a few hours, I'm not that fuck up from YouTube. I'm just Steve. Wood. I just realized his shirt. Well, no, I just realized no, this it. is this. Is my but I find it interesting that his shirt says Boogie Nights. Ugh. And you know he's broke because he's buying Pure Life water. <laughs> <coughs> That's the cheaper water. At Saturday Walmart. night crew, we get together every Saturday. We eat pizza. We play magic. We play board games. We do Smash Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Hey, there's a woman there. Hey, what? Hold up, hold up. There's... We're awkward around women. Wait, there's a woman right there. Are right, one of y'all gonna step up to the plate? Ask this bitch to go out? Come on. There's a woman right there! Three Paragon, $5 Super Chat. Hear about Will Smith getting piked by... <laughs> getting piped by Dwayne, according to one of his close friends. I think it's legit. I sent the link on X if you're interested. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's real. Not really. I just don't believe that they they weren't covert. Like if they were fucking each other, I don't believe it, they weren't covert, covert at all. Anyone could just like could have just used the key to open up the door, you know, like the guy, like his assistant, and and walk in on that. 
Oh, uh, the ball. Only LA 10s, Jay. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. This is my crack. This is my co- Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay, that's, yeah. More of that Andy Kaufman shit. See? Are you trying to symbol- Are you trying to, like, some kind of message here? If you're trying to make some kind of parallel between him and Andy Kaufman, like I said before, no. No. <laughs> Hell no. Cocaine. I met him at the magic shop. I met him in the magic shop. Now him, I met at the magic shop. This guy, I <sighs> met at the magic shop. This guy I met uh, at the magic shop. Please don't point at this me, Boogie. Guy... <laughs> that look on his face is like, please don't point at me. Because he was a roommate with a friend I met at the magic shop. Okay, so I have a million dollar question for you guys. Every Saturday we get together. Mm -hmm. This bro, I never Saturday, wanted to see I order what, pizza, chicken fingers, tacos. Those are the things I normally. Hang Every on, Saturday I order what? Pizza, chicken fingers, tacos. Those are the. Pizza, chicken fingers, chicken fingers. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, as an adult, I wouldn't eat. Like I, I, you know, it might be just I ran, I ran out of love for like chicken, any chicken fingers or chicken nuggets and shit. I just don't like it anymore because I had to eat it constantly. Because that's all we fucking had in the house. Fucking chicken nuggets. But it's like, eh. I, 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 don't, I don't know how anyone can eat chicken nuggets. It's like, it's like nothing. They're not as good as chicken tenders. Because they're not made, they're not made like... It depends on where you get them. Or if you make them homemade or whatever. But like chicken nuggets. We tried to make chicken nuggets here from scratch and they they always turn out fucking weird because the way chicken nuggets are probably made anywhere else like you can't you can't make them in house because like you got to have like MSG and like a meat processing machine or some shit you can't make you can make chicken tenders you can make chicken oh my god you can make chicken tenders in your house and they'll come out fantastic you cannot make chicken nuggets because that's some that's another breed of fucking meat entirely a ruined Leon. You Alabama AIDS can't compete with my New Orleans 20s. Uh, son of the D, 750 isk. You know it's sad when Chris Chan had sense to tell his old stuff to make more money than Boogie. To sell, to sell his old stuff to make more money than Boogie. Oh, That is pretty sad. But then again, Chris Chan is still still way more pathetic than he is. That's, and that's, I I that's, that's a, right. a good thing. Like, I know it's been like... <laughs> a hundred hundred fifty dollars every saturday like fetus and like i showed them my bank books today and i'm not like i've never wanted to burden you guys with this but like i'm at a point taylor evans 199 super chat i'm play until dawn i'm begging you mm. <laughs> saturday like fetus and like food for friends 100 150 dollars you can't make shit from scratch motherfucker <laughs> You just couldn't make anything. You couldn't make any snacks from from scratch. Account balance four hundred seventy eight uh, seventy eight dollars. Yeah. Like I showed them my bank books today, and I'm not like I've never wanted to burden you guys with this, but like I, I never wanted to burden you guys with this. But, but here's my bank books, and I spend so much money feeding you guys when you come here. <laughs> I'm at a point where saving three hundred dollars a month would be useful. I mean, we've, we've been telling month. you for years that. We don't care about the food that much. Okay. Yeah. Like, don't like, don't get me wrong. I like having snacks and soda when I'm. Over. I thought he was about to say, like, oh, we don't care. Well, when he was saying, like, oh, we don't care about the food. He, he said, I thought he was, after that he was gonna say, like, don't, don't, don't try to fucking, <laughs> don't try to fucking play me. <laughs> don't try to fucking guilt me, motherfucker. I thought he was about to say that. Over here, because I don't eat those at my house. Right. But we've, I mean, we've definitely said it throughout the years. Like, you don't. Ryan Bannon, final super chat. I'm missing the Robin Hood finale for this. <laughs> Man, worth it. Time to feed us, but I know you, you, you I do know. it anyway, so. When are we going to start bringing girlfriends around? Dude, all you got to do is, for one thing, stop putting grease in your hair. You're white. You don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't need to put grease in your hair. Moose, all right? And if you're gonna smell like a little grease, it's, just, it's like a little bit, just like a finger tips full. Cause like I said, you're white. You don't need to do that. Um, get, yeah, get a haircut, reasonable fucking haircut, trim that fucking beard, get some proactive and you'll be good. And, yeah, and go to the gym and you'll be good. 
Also, when are we gonna start bringing girlfriends around that aren't hookers? Because <laughs> 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 this nigga's like, nigga, that's all you. That like, what fucking mean we? We? <laughs> that's you. You want to bring these hoes, these whores in the house? You don't want to bring these hoes like out here. Like this motherfucker's like, yeah, that's just you. I get pussy. I don't. Get, I don't get hookers. <laughs> I get Alabama. <laughs> I get I get Arkansas tens, motherfucker, <laughs> and LA tens. You getting hookers? That's all I brought around for five years. Like that face is just like, it, nah, that's just you. I mean, like we haven't had like legitimate girlfriends over in a long time. Like, <coughs> you haven't in a while, you haven't dated in a while. I mean, yeah. Can you shut the fuck up and stop telling my business in front of this camera? A while, out. that's fair enough. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've like had some. I think like a, I think you. Stop putting grease in your it's motherfucking hair. I think that Boogie's definitely a, a good guy. Uh, he loves his friends and his family, and he. This Bruce, someone's below the camera right now. Cares about people a lot, and he cares about what people think about him a lot. He's a fun person to be around and to laugh Is and jokes with. But sometimes we open up and we have like really personal conversations, and I enjoy getting to know him in that way as well. Willing to do things for us, he's offered to. I mean, of course they're gonna get on camera and fucking compliment this nigga. I mean. And plus, they're probably total, like, very forgiving sweethearts. You know what I mean? Like, just no skepticism. Like, for anyone who wants to be their friend, there's gonna be no skepticism. There's gonna be no skepticism in their heart. You know what I mean? They're those type of people. Like, which is fine. Like, it's not, not necessarily, it's not entirely a character flaw. <laughs> but, like, yeah, they're not gonna, of course, they're not gonna question Boogie's integrity. To, you know, take care of us or offer us a room if he needs it. Um, he's still gonna make some of the same jokes. You know, we all have a sort of dry sense of humor. Sincere kindness, uh, it's, it doesn't always show up, but uh, he, he does have a lot of a lot of compassion for people. Oh, you niggas, all you need is a fucking haircut. His skin's fine. Just get a fucking haircut. That that mullet shit ain't ain't ain't, ain't hidden. I think he's just a guy. <laughs> with good and bad but i don't think he's as bad as a lot of corners of the internet think he is i think as long as he stops i don't know the way you said that wasn't reassuring <laughs> he's just a guy <laughs> uh <laughs> the way you said that wasn't reassuring reb five dollars super chat a room full of jordan peterson sleep paralysis demons <laughs> that's not that's not right well except for boogie <laughs> tweeting the n-word he'll be fine <laughs> i think he is yeah he's he see his nose is like deforming because of all the fucking grease in his face wash your fucking face <laughs> are you like you like say use proactive motherfucker you should not have acne problems in your adult life tweeting the n-word he'll be fine <laughs> The N-word is just a word. Why did that need to be a segue into the... And why, wait, wait, what? I think he is. I think as long as he stops tweeting the N-word, he'll be fine. <laughs> the N-word is just a word. Why? <laughs> why are we having a fucking discussion about the N-word? <laughs> I think Boogie has bigger problems than saying the N-word. If you guys left and these cameras weren't rolling and I was sitting here alone in the dark. And this Bruce, he preparing to say it? Looks like he was. Well, he's laying down. He's all comfortable. <laughs> Off his ankles. <laughs> um, I've been fucking Arkansas niggers. And I said <laughs> word. There's no magic. Like his eyes are all bright and shit. <laughs> like he's, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna say the gamer word. Power to it. So say it. Oh no, I'm not gonna say it on camera where it could hurt somebody. I like offensive you. Mike is so disappointed that he has not said the N word. I thought we were Aryan brothers, Boogie. <laughs> I thought we were in league in the Aryan nation. You can't say the N-word. How do I know I can trust you? 
humor. I like dark jokes. I say fucked up shit. I think the darker something is, cancer, rape, <laughs> murder, child abuse. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> laying down like this and saying it? <clears throat> That is a real meme right there. Like him just lying back like a beached whale talking about rape, murder, chocolate, marzipan, <laughs> bacon cream. <laughs> it's just weird. It's so weird. What the fuck are we doing right now? The darker it is, the more important it is to make jokes about it. Just ruined that. Yeah, was just his I'm last weekend. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, Batgirl Wild 7? Okay, Globe. Okay, Globe, man, say it. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still watching. She's bad. Hey. He's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to say it work and hurt somebody. Oh, God, shut up. <laughs> Can't stand people who do that shit. Like, I will say the N-word, but not where it's some, it could hurt somebody. <laughs> I mean, he is right. Like, in your, the safety of your own home, you're not hurting anybody by saying the fucking N-word, but at the same time. You have said worse on camera, which they are, which Mike Klum is about to present to us in a second. Ryan Bannon, $2 Super Chat. He's this generation's Norm MacDonald. Uh, no. <laughs> the more important it is to make jokes about it. In 2019, controversial clips of Boogie began to spread online. Yeah, I feel, I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. Yeah, that's okay. All right. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still watching. She's dead. And, uh, yep, yeah, so fuck her. And now she's dead. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color, or is it not? I don't know. Someone says you can't put your finger into a clitoris. Somebody here doesn't have a scalpel handy. You splay that fucker just right, you can wrap it all around your fingers. You just gotta, you gotta shave real thin. Woo! That's disturbing. That's the most fucked up thing. I've no, I play the Like, he doesn't even say it like a joke. He just, like, delivers words. He just says words. Elusive Mayfly199 Super Chat. When you roasted his pure life water, I was dead. <laughs> and the thing is, like, he's not good at telling jokes. Because, well, come on. I mean, I don't know much about that character he played. I don't know. I don't know if, it's, if it was really that funny. But when it comes to, like... T <laughs> telling jokes. Jokes. He's not good at it. And all he had to do was like, stop at the scalpel comment and that would have been like, okay, I can tell that was a joke, but ugh, jeez. Sure you, bud. But then he had to go fucking too far with the shit and he wouldn't shut the fuck up. You pointing a gun at me? Yes. Committed, committing aggravated assault. Is this what we have to do? Did he shoot the gun in the, he shot the gun in the air and dude didn't, didn't even flinch though. Is this what we have to do? Wait, wait, damn. You just gotta, you gotta shave real thin. Woo, that's disturbing. That's the most fucked up thing. I've no, I plan to shoot you, bud. Please. You pointing a gun at me? Yes. Oh, so he did, yeah, he shot up in the air and dude just barely flinched. Do? Where it really went south is when- That's how you know somebody who does not take you seriously at all. You have a gun in your fucking hand, you shoot up in the air, and they're still like, <laughs> what so? <laughs> who cares, motherfucker? One guy spent like a month of his time gathering every link, every video clip, everything I'd ever said or done since 1998, and he compiled it into this one huge mega thread. It's like 10, 15 pages long. And every time my name would get mentioned on Reddit moving forward, they would all link to that mega thread. Well, these people on Reddit began to bombard my sponsors to make me look as bad as possible. Every time I got a new sponsor, they would bombard me. And uh, eventually they dropped me. Annual income since 2018. Wait a minute, I thought it was 200 something in 2018. Like, so, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought it was, no, or maybe, no. Or was that the, the, amount, the amount of views he got in 2008? Yeah, I think that was views, never mind. Oh, is 
annual income is 26k. Oh no. He's basically a normal person. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready to step back into 1988? You ready to go back to my childhood? Because that's what's behind the star. You know what, do you want to know what this represents to me? This is everything that was good about my childhood. And when I walk back in here, it's like going back in time, except things aren't completely shitty. So this is the classic. I mean, I even have a Pac-Man tattoo. This is the game I most identify with because it's about a little round guy running through a maze, trying to figure shit out, eating everything in sight and getting chased by ghosts of his past. Okay, but Pac-Man didn't buy hookers. <laughs> like Mrs. Pac, he's married. Like he has Mrs. Pac-Man. So Pac-Man didn't need to buy hookers. <laughs> I basically Pac-Man. I know it's simple fun. You gotta be you a sad motherfucker. Pac-Man is your literally me character. <laughs> Pac-Man is literally me. And, uh, I mean, look at the guy. He looks like me. Uh, I, I might have... Pac-Man looks like me. No, Pac-Man is, is, is actually aesthetically pleasing compared to you. Sprained it or broken it or something? I was... Uh, Joey Joester, $5 Super Chat. Hey, Miss Longbone. Thanks for, provide, for providing rolls upon rolls upon rolls of laughter while I'm working. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. And you're Walking welcome. to the bathroom in there. And there was a loud snap sound in the bathroom. Wait, 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 it might have sprained it. Walking to the bathroom, but he sprained his ankle. For one, that's funny. But at the same time, it's like, bruh's walking no Wait, hold on. Or broken it or something. I was walking to the bathroom in there. And there was a loud snap sound. And things kind of shifted in one direction. And now my foot is swelling into my shoe. I've sprained my ankle. That's why I'm continually walking on it still, even though I like weigh fucking 700 pounds, putting s fucking 700 pounds of pressure on a sprained ankle and making it worse and walking like I usually walk. I totally sprained my ankle, guys. I totally sprained it. I'm not, I'm not trying to get more sympathy. I totally sprained my ankle. It's totally for real. Reddit did this to me. <laughs> Sean Liston, I was super dead. Love your vids and love seeing you appear across all different shows. Your laugh is contagious. Thank you. Laura Hugel, five dollars super chat. Hey Lauren, have you heard that the names of birds are racist? Someone is planning on changing their names. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh, I think I heard about that. Oh, I don't understand how um a blue jay could be a racist bird name, but okay. And it hurts really badly. It's the fun part about he's not even limping. Exactly. He's and he's walking the way he normally walks, except a little slower. <clears throat> and if you sprain your ankle, you'd be in serious pain right now because, like I said, you weigh a lot, and putting that much fucking weight on a sprain would not be pleasant. That you never know. You don't know if you'll wake up tomorrow. You don't. Nigga, you have to look like you're in pain. Shut the fuck up. I don't know if <laughs> your lying ass. today is that stroke or heart attack you've been waiting on. Or if it's going to be a healthy day and you feel real good for a change. You never know. Ryan Bannon, fight all the super chat. Reddit did the same things to the Nazis, listing all the bad things they did. Totally unfair. <laughs> grace, so I don't know. You can fucking be today. Is he gonna die this year? I mean, um, did Boogie force the documentarian to put this in here? Like, is this, or is this some kind of like jab at Boogie from the documentarian? Because, like, yeah, but, you know, feeding into Boogie's like pity me narcissism is not, it's not a good look. <laughs> Do I think I'll- Could he die this year? Like, no. 
Probably not. Nate the Scott, five pound super chat. Please skip the naked bass scene with his 20 year old girlfriend. Blah, 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 blah. That is all. Love your stuff. <laughs> no, no, no. We watching that. We watching it. I can get jokes out of that. Come on. I can't skip that. <laughs> This Peru, man, just assume, I just assume I'll wake up tomorrow. I'll be only wrong once. I'll make 50? Yeah, probably. That's only two years away. Do I think I'll make 60, which is 12 years away? Probably not. Here's everything. All you gotta do is go to the fucking gym. It's like, what, five good years are you trying to lose this goddamn weight and you could extend your life maybe 10 more, maybe five to 10 more years. But you choose not, so you can't do this pity me bullshit when all you gotta do is go to the fucking gym. <laughs> uh, get a juice cleanse, something. You cannot, like, that's not, you don't have cancer, homie. <laughs> you, <laughs> well, the only cancer is your uh, own state of mind. <laughs> but it's not like, Cancer, cancer. Just go to the fucking gym, you asshole. That's wrong with Boogie. Low testosterone. No shit. <laughs> no fucking shit. Testicular hypogonadism. Yeah, like yeah, the fatter you are, like the fatter you are though, like for guys at least, I think the more estrogen they develop, I think. Like the more out of shape they are. I think I, I might I might have gotten it backwards. I don't know. I gotta look it up again. That's wrong with Boogie. <laughs> Low testosterone. Test. <laughs> Mike, uh, uh, Mr. Mike. But Jay, they don't have LA tent at the gym. Testicular hypogonadism. Testicular hypogo. It sounds like a good thing, though, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, not, not if they're overpowering your dick. Yeah, that would that would be a bad thing. Got an explosive load through like a fucking baby carrot penis. That sounds horrible. Sleep, Sleep apnea, apnea, of course. Swelling due to blockages of lymphatic flow. Uh-huh. Seboric eczema. Yeah. Chronic <laughs> back pain. Yeah. Protein in urine. <laughs> I have protein in my urine. I eat so much protein. It's in my urine. Like... He eats so fucking much, he's got protein in the urine. Oh my god. <laughs> protein? I don't know why. That is so goddamn funny. I'm gonna cap this, because that's funny. With, with, with that text, because that is with Boogie's face, bewildered face in that text. Protein in urine? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Uh, Ermin Taru, Areola. I think I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Uh, 499 super chat got out of the gym in pain and now I'm in even more pain due to boogie stupidity. This Peru, all these so far are just side effects of his food. <laughs> he can easily go to the gym. Yeah. Wow. Three three paragon, uh two dollar super chat, dicky do. <laughs> Protein in the urine. Oh my god. <laughs> that's from kidney damage, folks. Oh, that's from kidney damage. Okay. So, yeah, because I, yeah, your kidneys are supposed to clean out. Supposed to clean your, um, clean out, like, make sure, like, you, you, the, clean out all the waste in your body, I think. I forgot. Oh, my God. My brain is depleting. That is everything keeping me alive. We have. See, this, he's the embodiment of these, these motherfuckers. <laughs> they go to, they go to a, a, a doctor. And the doctor says, hey, hey, you know, all you got to do to fix your, your fucking problem is to not be fat. <laughs> and instead they get like heaps of medication and they just keep doing the same you fat shit do, <laughs> over and over again. And they're just a fucking drain on, I don't know if he, I don't know if he has insurance or what, I don't know, but like he's just a drain on the insurance, the American insurance system. <laughs> On the American healthcare system. Um, Disco Mancer, $5 super chat, lols upon lols upon lols. Losartan, tramadol, buprofen, sertraline. Uh, did I? <laughs> Mike is like, oh God. Losartan, <laughs> tramadol, buprofen, sertraline. <laughs> 
not, it's not a good sign when your documentarian is like, get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Did I deal with back pain? I deal with nightmares? I'm always tired. I I'm always tired. Maybe it's because you're carrying around 600 pounds. I don't know the last time I did sleep. Otherwise, if I don't wear this machine at night, when I'm supposed to be sleeping. I want to fuck LA 10. <laughs> Somebody caption this with, I like to fuck LA 10. <laughs> here's, here, just grab that shit. <laughs> just caption it with, I like to fuck LA 10. I like to <sighs> fuck LA 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually drowning in my own fat. <laughs> High blood pressure, history of gastric bypass, intestinal ma History of gastric, well, that's not even like a condition. You just got a gastric bypass to, so you could lose weight. That's not really a condition. Nice throwing that in there though. Malabsorption, vitamin D sufficiency, because like most gamers, I hate the sun. Morbid obesity. Oh, you can take supplements for that and actually fucking go outside. Vince Tyler, 499 Super Chat, this music is still going. You know what kills me is like, his only obstacle is, him, is himself. Like, but, but oh, here's everything that's wrong with me. Like it, the word, everything is just so dire. It's dire. Like he has no control over this shit. Like what? Uh -oh. <sighs> Excuse me. City. Intestinal mal malabsorption. Major yeah. depressive disorder. Depressive major anxiety dis disorder. Yeah. Of mm -hmm. Morbid diabetes. obesity. I mean, fucking duh, nigga. Morbid obesity. No shit! Malitis. Blood pooling in veins. Varicose veins. And Blood pooling in oh, legs with complications. Degeneration of lumbar or lumbosacral intervertebral. The ball. You're my LA 10 J. All. Oh, thank you. Is he what? Nah, he's got tie dye Crocs. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Degeneration of lumbar or lumbo. Lumbosacral inter. Oh my God. Fuck you. <laughs> Disc. That means my back don't work so good. History of basal cell carcinoma, that's cancer, and of course- You have a history, like, have you had cancer? Or is can does cancer run in your family? What does that mean? Have you had cancer? You have it? And I still can't fucking feel sorry for it. Or is he just like listing off things that fat people have and pretending like he has it? Because honestly, this motherfucker should be dead <laughs> at this point. He should be gone already, because he been fat. For a long time, like a long, long ass time, rolls upon rolls upon rolls <laughs> for a long time. So it's like, if you have all that, yeah, you should, it's like, it's like the episode of The Simpsons where, um, um, oh my God, Mr. Burns had all these fucking disorders and diseases, but they were so <clears throat> perfectly imbalanced. I mean, they were perfect, so perfectly balanced that like they all fit together. That's why he lasted so long because they, they all fit together. But it's not like, and Mr. Burns thought, oh, that means I'm invincible. Or I, uh, or, he, or he said, it, he thought it meant either he was invincible or um, uh, he was immortal or some shit. But no, but no, the doctor was like, no, even a slight breeze could kill you. <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's that situation. It reminds me of that. Like you got all these fat disorders and like, but, and they're all perfectly balanced with each other. But even a slight cheeseburger could kill you. <laughs> REB two dollars super jet. Rest in grease, my brother. So I can't breathe so good. So asthma and allergy. Allergies, okay. As well. Even thin people have that. So, it's a waiting game now. And it's just about making the best of it. Just enjoy what you got when you got it. See through that cancer in there. I you said, oh, I have a carcinoma, cancer. Um, do you have cancer? Or are you, are you at risk of having cancer? Because those are two different things. 
Sometimes that's a... And like, and like, even if you did have cancer, you have cancer due to your obesity. So like, I still don't feel sorry. Cause like I said, this all could be solved if you just went to the goddamn gym. So I can't even feel sorry for you. Check in case of the like, oh, I just chicken case <laughs> and let, wait, let me rewind that. Just enjoy what you got when you got it. I'm just gonna enjoy what I can't. I can't control this. I can't. There's nothing I could. I've tried nothing, and I'm all ahead of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Another Simpsons reference. Thank you. Sometimes that's a chicken case of the end. Uh, nigga, do you ever have you ever eaten anything that you prepared yourself? Oh, uh, like oh, uh. and Taco Bell on top. And you you don't even go to like a mom and pop Mexican restaurant where there are actual Mexicans. <laughs> you go to fucking Taco Bell. That fucking yeah, that cancer is shit. Uh, Disparu, I've tried everything except lo locking the fridge. Wipe your fucking mouth mouth off, you dick! I got crumbs in my beard. The crumbs in my beard, they're gonna take over my face pretty soon and I'll die. There's nothing I could possibly do to get rid of the crumbs in my beard. It's just, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I gotta get a surgery to cut my whole face off because of the, the crumbs in my beard. Halfway into the documentary production, I decided to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> That look on your face when he had his medication in a bag. Like, yeah, you, you can tell he was fucking done. You can tell it was over. Um, Hikari Kiru, $5 super chat. Murica, hell yeah. I wanted to the mood was overwhelmingly depressing. <laughs> oh to make like a documentary that was generally entertaining, you realize, wait a second, everything he says is depressing. Everything he says <laughs> is like the saddest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of those comedies. I'm trying to figure out what though, like, This is certain. This is a type of comedy that I've watched. This reminds me. I can't fucking think of it though. Damn. And it's just about making the best of it. This is the first documentary we're, I'm doing. I can't put out a documentary that's this guy the whole time because <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't put out a documentary that's just this guy, this fat miserable motherfucker. <laughs> I can't, this guy, why the fuck did you do anything with him then? Because I don't want my brand new channel uh, to be known as making documentaries about the most depressing people that exist. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck happened to this guy? What the fuck happened? He got fat. <laughs> he got fucking fat. Oh, and then, like, yeah, and plus some other stuff. You know, he's just genu genuinely a screwed up person. Boogie. Like, what happened? I think he was always his wife. I invited a mental health counselor, a comedian, and a YouTube consultant to assist in analyzing Boogie's downfall. Well, he's losing what made people originally like him. It, it could be as simple as just that positive attitude. Why not use your only life to make the lives around you better? Fuck you. But it seems like he's acting there. Because it seems so, so fucking fake. Like, why don't you try to make the lives of yourself? It's, so, it's such a performance. Why not use your only life your only life <laughs> to make the lives around you better it's so phony the part where he's like cursing in the next goddamn clip is way more way more authentic 
Fuck you. It's none of your fucking business. It's my body. It's my choice. Eat shit. And over yep, that's more authentic. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's the real him right there. Meme, five dollars super chat. I knew very little, ugh, very little about Boogie before today. Now I hate him. All he has to do is get on a treadmill, drink water, and eat lighter meals. Yeah, Edward, Eduardo Alvarez, nine ninety nine super chat. My older sister reminds me of Boogie, someone who has been themselves so long that they can't shake who they are because it's too late. He won't change even with him being at his lowest. Sad. I mean, I would, I would feel sorry for him, and I would think it's sad. I mean, it like on a human level, yes, it is sad. But I'm not gonna feel sad over it because it's just he did this to himself, and then he has the nerve to be a fucking unlike like a piece of shit person. Like if you if you weren't a piece, if you just weren't an asshole, <laughs> you'd be all right. Just disparu, maybe he's talking to the person under his desk. Over time, in the content, we see this shift where he starts to become more interested in. Oh, I've seen this dude. I know this dude is. I just like making content. I just like talking to a camera. I just like doing cool stuff. I just want ad revenue. I just want YouTube to pay me a fair amount. It's all I've ever wanted, right? And his concerns about money. If I could teach you anything, it's to hold on to the money you get. Oh, are you trying to manipulate people into giving you money? The answer is yes. Give me some money. And more interested in complaining. I couldn't be more grateful. I couldn't be more grateful to people. Want to come? Thank you. I'm a walking embarrassment, dude. We do. Look at me. I'm fucking disgusting. Better, I'm a piece of shit. I will never function the way you function. It's not possible. Um, that's why if you're griping to your viewers, if you're complaining to your subscribers, I mean, that just leaves a sour taste in people's mouths. I think my window's closing. And if it's not closing already, it's it's already closed right so if there was money to be made and making people feel punish your boogie nights get fucked depressed <laughs> i think boogie would be in the right business like that's just my life philosophy at this point just yeah, yeah, yeah. Boogie would be in... right, so if there was money to be made and making people feel depressed i think boogie would be in the right business <laughs> like that's just my life philosophy at this point just face down in the mud that's that's pretty much how we live our lives An unexpected medical bill arrives, causing an insufficient balance. That that's right around the corner. Like I have to sell. You walked into the hospital and caused a seismic. <laughs> I need to stop laughing before every joke. Um, you you, you walked into our hotel. You walked into our hospital and caused a seismic shift. You owe us one million dollars. <laughs> this place, I have to. I have to tap into the equity to survive. Like that's. The last of my money. And <clears throat> well, nigga, who told you? Go play magic. <laughs> who told you to go play magic? Spend money on fucking fast food. Who told you to do any of that shit? You probably wouldn't have been in the red if it weren't for that. So much of that money is going to doctor's appointments and tests and and you knew you had to get that done when you went into mcdonald's and bought food for all your homies during the magic thing and when you went um what else did he fucking spend money on yeah he went he went to the arcade spent that little five piece it's like yeah you were oh yeah and that goddamn sound bar yeah you would have been in the red if you would just send back the fucking sound bar, which I'm pretty sure he did not do. Cause like I said, he would not be in the red if that was the case. This brew, his house is full of nerd crap. That's pure money, <laughs> right? I All mean, of that is just gold mine. He just, just doesn't do shit. And all his dramatic shit, it just feels like acting. This so inauthentic. That's why this comes off more funny than anything. People are like, oh, you know, this, this documentary is so depressing. Is it? <laughs> or is it just fucking hilarious? Because he did this shit to himself, and now he's in this fucking thing. Like, like the whole the inconsistencies in this documentary. Like, oh, I spent 100 bucks on, on a fucking sound bar I didn't need. Didn't send it back. Then I get all this fucking junk food that I didn't need. 
I go and I gotta go play magic. I gotta go play magic. Like all together, that's at least all together what he spent. Like it, that's he he didn't have to be in the red, basically. And all that shit he's sitting on is like oh, you're you're doing this to yourself. Why the fuck should I feel sorry for you? Fuck. And then and then he's <laughs> and then he's in this fucking documentary acting his ass off. Like oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck my life <laughs> he's staring in the mirror and then there's another mirror in the back and that that reflects him staring in the mirror and it's like an endless like and it, it symbolizes like an endless cycle of fat <laughs> and, and dysfunction <laughs> it's just it's like it's like a documentary that's trying to be legit but it's about boogie so it just comes off like parody and I can't help but laugh at it Oh, and he's got the Boogie Night shirt on. It's like, why? I remember I watched the Val Kilmer trailer uh, a while back, and it's just so sincere. Like, Val Kilmer, like, you think, like, uh, he's an actor. So you think a documentary about an actor would be uh, entirely schmaltzy, and, like, the actor, like, the actor they're focusing on, him, him just acting and mellow, and, um, Melodra melodramatizing <laughs> everything about their fucking life and just but no, it felt so sincere like the emotions felt real the the, the the despair felt real he's got real health problems that are uh, that are beyond his fucking control there was one time where he where Val Kilmer in the documentary was he was at a con or something and then like he had to cut it short because he got real fucking tired he had to like he had to lay down. I forgot how for how long, but he had to lay down because he's so because he he's just so his energy is so depleted from getting cancer removed and and you know he's got uh he's got speaking problems. He he has to speak through a fucking tube in his throat. Like the shits now that's depressing because the man used to be real good looking. He had a great voice like great actor and like he's got you know he's just not out there like that anymore because of the cancer and that's depressing this motherfucker is not depressing <laughs> he's funny because he did this shit to himself free paragon um besides you're just fueling this motherfucker's um his pity me when you say oh this documentary is so depressing man i don't know where where boogie did he fell, fell off man don't know don't say it does exactly what the fuck he wants. Three Paragon, $5 Super Chat. I honestly think the documentary maker turned this into a subtle roast towards the middle of the film. Yeah, maybe he did. It feels like the whole thing feels like satire to me. There are plenty of difference. Bus nut. He smoked a lot. Yeah, but like, yeah, that is a legit, like, you know, l addiction. That, that, um, that, um, oh my God, that, um, uh, that nicotine will fuck you up. Man, at the same time, yeah, he could also chose not to smoke, but that's a legitimate fucking addiction problem. Content creators to have various mental illnesses all over social media. And some just say, it is what it is, and this is what I'm gonna do. Boogie tends to be really obsessed with this idea that it's favorable to have people feel sorry for you and that kind of victim a mentality where you can get further in life if uh, people have compassion on you regardless of the reason they're doing it. I look awful. If I look like I've been through hell over the last couple of days, it's because I have been. Nigga, you're apple cheeked. You look fine. Most notably, <laughs> I ruined my body. Like Jerry, I ruined my own career. Maybe it was the imposter syndrome. Maybe it's because I. I Is that a single tear? <laughs> Stock footage? What is that? My own career. Maybe it was the imposter. <laughs> Why, Mike Clum? Why? Mike Clum? <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Oh, this brew. He's describing half of society right now. <laughs> Abigail English. Val Kilmer was also in Christian science, so he's basically conditioned to avoid medical attention. Oh, uh, well, he got some eventually. 
because somebody had to, uh, to remove his cancer. This Peru imposter syndrome had he has millions of subs. Imposter <laughs> syndrome, maybe it's because I. It's been a, a method of. We love you, Boogie. Don't be so hard on yourself. I, I think covert narcissism is the right phrase. Like, oh, look at how pathetic I am. You should feel sorry for me. You would never be mean to me because I'm so pathetic, right? Oh, I'm so fat, I'm so weird, I'm so goofy, I'm such an old man, I'm so... I'm such a I grew up in an abusive family and an abusive home. The amount of pain that's in my head and my heart is... is so vulnerable narcissism has a number of characteristics. Uh, a person can be considered a vulnerable narcissist without having them all. So with vulnerable narcissism or covert narcissism, we see pessimism. I feel defeated and confused and lost all the time every day. Hypersensitivity to criticism. I can't handle this kind of hate. I can't handle these types of attacks. I can't do it. Reactive anger, so they're not really thinking things through. Is this what I have to do? <laughs> and so goes by Boogie2988 was booked into the jail this morning. Need for admiration. Can I get a round of applause? Oh, uh, he did a please clap. <laughs> Need for admiration. Can I get a round of applause? Can I get a please, please clap them cheeks for the LA tens in the room, please? Thank you. <laughs> the self-centeredness. I'm the perfect victim. I have been victimized my entire life. The sense of entitlement. You guys want to help me pay for my Tesla? Please go ahead and dig deep. I sure would like a free help pay for my Tesla, nigga. Fucking Tesla. Leaving oneself to be special. How many kids went on to get 4.5 million YouTube subscribers? One. Nine. Steven uh, Williams! And how many people have went on to lose 300 pounds and keep it off? <laughs> Why don't you try doing that first, motherfucker? <laughs> oh my God. It's so easy to make fun of him. <laughs> but it's making me laugh. <sighs> I'm having fun. But anyway, uh, yeah, get that weight off. Get like 400 million subs and maintaining that, maintaining 300 pound weight loss. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're just watching the same things over <coughs> and over again. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie Tiny, 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 this is my family series. Jack Diamond, please clap the meat curtains. <laughs> meat curtains. That's the name. Most disgusting fucking phrase. He's 298. His fall from grace it, it is so catastrophic. Not happy about it. People are sick of the shtick. And what would you recommend to him now uh, to get his viewers back? I don't think he's getting his viewers back. I don't think that's a but bus nut. YouTube could be a douchebag factory sometimes. Yeah. Possibility. I think the only thing to do now is go a different angle. But I don't even know if that's possible. I mean, it, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but how do you change yourself? Like viewers are smart. Like they want to see you. They want to see what you're interested in. I don't know. You got to get a job. <laughs> Maybe in this case, GameStop. Damn. <laughs> we'll get your attempt. Oh, no. I think this is the part everybody keeps talking about. And he got a haircut. Oh. Great Magnifique. <laughs> My name is Dawn. Dawn, I'm Boogie or Steve. Okay, uh, yeah. what do you prefer to be called? Honestly, by? probably Steve. Steve. Let's go with Steve. Okay, Steve. No problem. Whatever you prefer. And so you are here today because you are seeking employment. Yeah. You're seeking out new work opportunities. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your work at a gym because that's just like <clears throat> work at a gym because that's that's you could kill two birds with one stone that way your background and where you think you want to go with the experience that you already have. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled, uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. And then 
weren't so depressed you couldn't walk up Basically, in here. Basically, uh, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no reference. I mean, no shit. She can look at you and figure that out. You didn't even need to say this. Is, uh, no work history and no education. Mick, Mick pressure. she in LA 10 or Arkansas. <laughs> and when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I'm also a pedophile. You should mention I'm also a felon. Okay. Uh, I also killed, um, uh, I also killed Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I killed Abraham Lincoln, um, Steve Irwin. I think, I, you know, there was some friction between us there. Um, <laughs> uh, I, uh, threw a little girl in a lake when I got pissed off. I, that, you may have heard that was Frankenstein, but no, that was me. <laughs> I tried to blow up several uh, finance buildings to get all of our credit back to zero. <laughs> uh, what's the nature of your felony? Aggravated assault. She already hates him, by the way. That, that face was not... <laughs> she already doesn't like uh, him. What's the nature of your felony? She, she already fucking hates him. That was quick, wasn't it? That was so quick. How old is it? About two years. Okay. So I think there are some avenues you could explore. I definitely don't think it's impossible, but you have some challenges. Yeah. Lots of things in life are about your mindset and you're using weight and disability, I can't, I can't, I can't. If that is the attitude that you're gonna have when you approach everything, then you can't, and you I, won't. I did work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years, so oh, I mean. I used to sit on women for content. <laughs> like, this, like this one bitch didn't have a proper arch, so I just, <laughs> I planted an arch. I arched that bitch myself. Be real with me. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to- He was in the porn and, like, doing what, motherfucker? <laughs> doing what? I mean, I know there's fad fetish porn, but, like, it's still, it's booky. Like, you could do better than that. Fad fetishes. Do a real interview and reference porn. Wait, hang on. A good idea. For the better part of seven years, so, uh, I mean... Be real with me. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real interview and reference porn? It depended on the job, I would think. Like, at a strip club, maybe. Oh, you're such Probably a not fucking moron. Probably not in the more professional setting, I would say. Yes, I would yeah. say that... Uh, what would you think... She is gritting her fucking teeth every word out of his mouth. His chances are here of getting employment in the next three months. I'm not sure when it comes to the felony, we would have to see cor corporate. Oh, but aggravated. Oh, yeah, 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 the gun thing. Was that the gun thing? Popping the user, booking the gun. Approval for that sort of charge in order to. <coughs> yeah, it was a gun thing, right? Candidate. And they would ultimately be the ones to make the decision as to whether or not we would feel comfortable presenting someone like that to our clients. <laughs> Fucking picture, hang on. We would feel comfortable. <laughs> Oh, at that point, is it even a neck beard? Like, what? What's what's above neck beard? Like, um, or a face blanket? <laughs> this be that is oof. Oh, presenting someone like that to our clients. Boogie was in, was unable to gain corporate rule, of course. Um, hey, Mike. Uh, Mission accomplished. Uh, I know we're making this documentary and everything, and I know you think I need to get a real job, but I just want to let you know I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I'm not going to walk into some job. <laughs> Go back. I just want to let you know I'm not going to. I, I'm not going to walk into some job. <laughs> His soul is gone. Like I want, I, all I wanted was some clout, man. <laughs> I want it was a fucking documentary for Cloud. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why y'all doing this to me, man? When I have four million subscribers 
on YouTube. I'm one of the original YouTubers. What I'm going to do instead is go back to making content, go back to telling stories and entertaining people and making money doing it. And you want to check back with me in a couple of months. Let's see how things are going. All right. I'll talk to you then. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good job. I'm one of the original YouTubers. Jobs. What the fuck? Yeah, I gotta rewind that whole thing. <laughs> it does not say anything. <laughs> but his face right there killed me. Oh, God. Uh, listen, dude. Uh, I know we're making this documentary and everything, and I know you think I need to get a real job, but I just want to let you know I'm not going to. I I'm not going to walk into some job when I have four... Yeah, some job. I know I, I, know I said I wouldn't talk. I got. I'm not gonna walk into some lame ass job, bro. Oh god. Yeah. He acts like, like the character from like a drug, like from a, from a movie about dr like drug crime. <laughs> like he's the head drug dealer. Like, 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 why are you fucking with this chump change, man? When you could, when you could be having four million subscribers on YouTube, nigga. <laughs> You won't be working for the man or you won't do this YouTube shit. <laughs> He's like that. He's like, oh, yeah, come on, man. You can sell crack to your people and make a grip. You gonna work at fucking McDonald's? <laughs> like that level of douchebag. I'm not gonna walk into some job when I have four million subscribers on YouTube. I'm one of the original YouTubers. I'm one of the original OGs in these streets. <clears throat> Think I can make it working at Walmart in a one bedroom apartment with five crying ass kids? That's chump shit, nigga. <laughs> Four million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> oh, what I'm going God. To do instead is go. Jake Bob and Ryan, he acts like a Generation Hope character. Back to making content, go back to telling stories and entertaining people and making money doing it. And you want to check back with me in a couple of months? Let's this Baru, he forgets it's not up to him. The viewers have to decide to watch him. Yes. See how things are going. All right? We'll talk to you then. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good job. Yeah, so I mean, things aren't great. Um, people are still mad at me on YouTube. Uh, my view numbers are... He lost 50k, but he still got 4 million, though. So who gives a pretty shit? Pretty much <laughs> close to zero. I'm having trouble breaking 10k on an upload right now. You're a liar. <laughs> and, uh, oh. Not not everything is bad. I've got at least one good thing going on. Can I show you? Oh, no. Love will find you when you least expect it. Taylor Swift. That's the most generic way. That had to be a piss take on Taylor Swift and, and the whole bookie situation and the whole relationship thing. That had to be a piss take. Because that's the most generic fucking thing you could say about love. Like, no way. Like, you can't quote Taylor Swift on that. Because anybody could have said that. Can I show you? Sure. Also, it's got, like, a quote symbol and a quote symbol. Like, uh, you know, I'm just saying it could be a piss take. So this is, uh, this is Desi, or you can call her Des, Desiree. Yep, Desiree. Um, ass cheeks? <laughs> Are the ass cheeks fucking necessary, Mr. Klum? <laughs> All you had to do was raise the camera, like, a little bit, like, right there, cutting off the ass cheeks. It, not even necessary. Dating now for months. Couple months yeah. And then he lowered it a little bit. <laughs> then the camera lowered yeah. right when like it was at most cheek and like okay I can got kind of be a little landing strip. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Mr. Clum. <laughs> We've been dating now for months. And like right when the, the cheeks opened a little bit, he kind of lowered the camera. <laughs> Like, so many shit you cannot blame on Boogie. Like, you did not need to film that. <laughs> you could have just raised the camera. Yeah. 
she's 20 years old. Forty-nine minus twenty. I, just, I don't know what it was. It was. Well, like, here's the thing, though. <laughs> here's the thing that annoys me. From what I hear about her, I hear she's all like fucked up in the head, like from trauma or whatever shit. Like, would it make a different make a difference whether she's twenty-nine or forty-nine? If she had the same fucking mentality, if she was the same, it was the same level level of damage. Would it be any less sad if she was his age? No. The emphasis on the age, like, doesn't make a difference because she's still, like, 20, 30, 40. She'd still be with this nigga and it would still be concerning. It would still be concerning. Like, the age thing, like, she's still, she's, she's grown. Put, put, when push comes, comes to shove, she's fucking grown. Date whoever the fuck she wants. Uh, like, her mental state, she could have at any age. Any woman who would end up with this motherfucker, you got a question. And still with him. Like, you got a question. Why? <laughs> and what's wrong with you? Uh, Mac Daddy $5 Super Chat Boogie 2988 inches. Oh. Ryan Bannon $5 Super Chat. Remember how uncomfortable we all were during Curb Stomp scene in American History X? That scene seems so wholesome now. Um, Zombie Chicks $2 Super Chat. He admitted he has a copy of her ID in his wallet. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's his energy, his, his curly hair. His glass. Now, like, there is something concern. Like, there is something concerning because he said he was with some other chick who likes like young people shit. But then again, so does he. All these toys and shit he got lying around, and there's a lot of people, even people I like, who got toys all around their fucking house. Not entirely a red flag yet. <laughs> well, no, no. Until like until he said that um. He put her to bed like a baby and shit. That's just, yeah, that DDLG shit is just fucking weird. I'm, I must be into nerds. It's, I guess, I don't know. He's just adorable to me. I like him. He's just adorable to me. I like him. Her mouth does like the disc, the disc, like it does. Look, it's like she's got something like motor oil in her mouth. Like she's eating some kind of sour candy and she gets to the middle and it just tastes like gasoline. It's just like. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I like him. <laughs> <It's> like she, <laughs> yeah, that's the, oh. I love how <laughs> she's delicately like Your eating fries, and he's just shoving the shit in his mouth. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it was. It was, I guess it's his energy, his, his curly hair, his glasses. I'm, I must be in a nerd. Yeah, she's daintily eating fries and he's just like, ah! <laughs> Oh God. It's, I guess, I don't know. He's just adorable to me. I like him. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> you can almost hear her be like, ooh. <laughs> Like, whoa, shit. <laughs> it's like saying that, like, gave her, like, like, created this disgusting taste in her mouth. He was going through a lot, and I randomly hit him up on Instagram, and I told him that... Hey, Boogie, I really love your content. I think you're super cute. Oh, yeah, something's wrong with you. <laughs> I think you're super... <coughs> <coughs> you inspire me. Just wanted to let you know I'm always here for you. Send Squid Juice five dollars super chat. I do kind of feel bad for her. Not gonna lie, she seems clearly mentally ill, especially since she didn't have a father figure growing up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, at some level, I do feel sorry for her. But at the same time, like, yeah, just, uh, yeah I still gotta make these jokes <laughs> to keep from despairing. I, you know, I support him and that I'm always here for him and stuff, and so. It started from there. On paper, it just doesn't really add up, right? It doesn't make sense on paper, but then practice and the reality, there was just something there. Go back. And so, it, it started from there. On paper, it just doesn't really add up, right? <laughs> I just noticed that picture. I'd really love to meet you. <laughs> Oh my god! 
this fucking video was making us oh, is bringing the COVID back. I really love to meet you. <laughs> Like, that's just, oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> makes sense on paper, but then practice in reality, there was just something there. So it was pretty crazy, but I just felt it. I felt, felt an energy connection to him before I even met him, and I don't know, that's just... Just for the Kubrick stare. <laughs> That's how it is. And then the longer <coughs> we spent talking, I don't know, eventually you just realized we're the same person doing And could you thing. not put the fucking camera up his nose, please? Of this 48-year-old man who has probably has gray hairs up there and doesn't wipe off his wipe off his beard when when he eats things. Please don't put the fucking camera up his nose. Talking. I don't know, eventually you just realized we're the same person doing the same thing, living the same lives, just at different stages, and... I can see myself getting married to Boogie. Oh, no. <laughs> I can also see myself getting married to a trash can filled with gutter slime. <laughs> I can also see myself getting married to a, um, a... <laughs> a farm-raised... Um, a farm-raised hog covered in its own filth, uh, but, uh, <laughs> you know, just ignore that. Uh, Lord Fortunga's $2 Super Chat the 600-pound life camera angles. I could definitely, I could definitely see us getting married. In fact, Oh, yeah, of course you can, you fly. I, we may or may not have talked about it a little bit, and we may or may not sit around fantasizing about it and thinking about what it's going to look like and... And I called you wifey the other day, and you loved it. You were yeah. so there for it. Bye for yeah. I liked it, Jim. Okay, yeah, it's like that. Um, that fucking the, the uh, that Looney Tunes cartoon. <laughs> One of the characters I forgot who was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> She's got. She looks like that. How that sounds. I'm so sorry, but it's true. Like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh my god. Proposed right now on camera. What would you do? I'd say yes. That's a good sign. No, it isn't. I propose right now. Would you say yes? Say yes. I'm gonna use the mayonnaise again. <laughs> Oh, Jablonski, the vulture. Okay, 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 okay. I, I, yeah, I figured it was that. He has improved Thank you. Tremendously. He just makes me happy. The happiest I've ever been. And <laughs> Why would you show that? That is the creepiest goddamn thing. <laughs> oh, you ate Fruit Loops today and I can still smell them. <laughs> Fingers, his fucking Cheeto fingers <laughs> through her hair, like, 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 like spider legs. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, rewind it, rewind it, rewind it. I like tremendously. He just makes me happy, the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is not endearing. I know it's like Mike Plum at this point, you know, he's just like, no, fuck it. I'm, I'm gonna do what I was gonna do, but I know it doesn't look the way I want it to look because it's fucking boogie. And I'm not alone, so that he just completes me. Growing up without a father figure has its challenges. Like, you just don't have that, that, that support. He looks like that anime character here. <laughs> the one with the fucking bow <laughs> in her hair. Support system that you would and the advice that you need. And so it's just difficult. I don't ever want to be alone. That's another thing. I'm just. Ugh, ugh, I just maybe that's. Why. I mean, nobody wants to be alone. Uh. <clears throat> but when your choice to fill up that space is boogie, number one, you're, you're going to fill up the space pretty damn quick. <laughs> I never, 
And two, um, yeah, you got like, yeah, it's a huge red flag. Zombie chicks, you dollars super dead. It's like watching a super villain stroke their, their cat. Oh, you know what? All that laughing made me develop hiccups. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Jesus Christ, but get, but we're 35 minutes in, which which means we got 20 more minutes to go. Oh God, I hate getting hiccups. I have stuffed animals. I just, I don't ever want to be alone. And so it's, I just, maybe that's why I have stuffed animals. I just, I don't ever want to be alone. Why well, I gotta show her playing with the goddamn things? <laughs> and so it's just nice to have company. And I help with this the dog. This after three months of dating. I get him, I get him his water, I, you know, like whatever he wants and requests, you know, I, I just mainly is to take care of him. He takes care of me. So. <laughs> whatever he, re I do whatever he requests and wants and needs and they show her like cleaning and shit. And you know, Boogie doesn't lift a fucking thick fucking finger for anything. Like nothing. So she basically does everything. And not that well, uh, considering that the house is still not that clean. Yeah, sometimes I, I pick weeds out here, so. Oh, okay, that's light gardening, oh, whatever. Cause like. Now she washing windows. <laughs> she, got, <laughs> she got her mowing the fucking lawn. I mean, I don't mean to uphold gender roles, but that's usually the guy's thing. I'm just saying. But he got her, he got her out here mowing the fucking lawn. If it wasn't that, if it wasn't Boogie, I'd be like, oh, what's this? that's Chad shit. He got her out here mowing the lawn. Ugh. Oh, Jesus Christ. It makes it look better. Trying to trim down these vines. And she's trimming like hedges and shit. Come on, bro. But he doesn't do a fucking thing. He does nothing. I'm not doing a good job. I don't do this very much. You know, I used to have a theory, Mike, that if you are a 40 year old man and <laughs> <laughs> when you have a Snapchat, that means you're a creepy dude. It turns out my theory was right. I have a Snapchat and I am a creepy dude. Okay, but like, I thought Snapchat was done. People still have that shit? I found that person and they happened to be 20. And I get that it's creepy to date somebody half your age or younger, but people can call me creepy if they want. If she's happy. I love how I can see like, the sun shining off his goddamn nose hair. Thanks, Mike Klum. <laughs> and I'm happy, then I will be the biggest creep you need me to be as long as her and I are happy. You can be as mad as you want. When you are Sexually. Honestly, uh, like getting mad at the age is counterproductive. It's just, uh, there's no point because she's still an adult. Like even if she was 48, it, like, if she still has these same mental issues, these same problems, what, what difference does it fucking make? It's still a fucked up situation and she's with this motherfucker. Like, anybody would look sus as hell with this nigga next to him. I'm just kind of questioning Mike Klum's involvement <laughs> with this dude. Yeah, like I said, it's counter like it's counterproductive getting mad at the age. It's just it'd be cr like him with a woman inherently is just fucking creepy. You gotta like wonder what the fucking dynamic is. 
We both seem to be having an excellent time. Hell no, hell no. Now this is YouTube. So they can't show any titties or anything. Thank God for that. Even though we saw plenty of Boogie's titties. Can't show lady titties though. Oh yeah, and they're playing Creep by Radiohead. Oh no. Sexually, we both seem to be having an excellent time. Oh, stop, nigga. And why did you film this mic clone? And why do you look... Why is, why is this so... Why is this film so creepily? Mike, some of this mental anguish you were feeling making this was brought on by nobody but yourself. What is this? Oh, look at his crusty ass feet. I would say that it's the best I ever had. What? You were. I don't believe you. Unless he's the only person you've ever had sex with. And she just. Oh, well, it's probably the best I've ever had. Unless she was sexually abused and she considers that <laughs> her first time, which is highly disturbing. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Mike! Mike! <laughs> this 20 this 20 year old girl that we're supposedly so worried about worried about being exploited. And like the camera is always up her fucking ass. <laughs> Jeez. Lord Fortune gets you all a super chat. 50 chins of gray. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't put the camera up her ass if we're worried about the age different shit. If we're worried about, oh, she's damaged and she's probably been sexually assaulted. Like, well, like, don't put the camera up her ass then. Oh, Shit. <laughs> and don't have him in the fucking frame while it's happening either. Because, ew. Oh, I think I missed this super chat. I, I need a distraction before anything more real happens. Uh, Joey Joster, he doesn't like LA 10s. He prefers Baker's dozens. Uh, oh. Now it's hard for me to take. For, now it's hard for me to feel sorry for Mike. Cause who told you to film that, nigga? <laughs> who told you to film any of that shit? <laughs> no. No. Now I'm glad she's covering him. I don't even understand how she's she even accomplishes that. But no. <laughs> no, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Oh, someone says, stop pausing. I'll do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> oh, you know what it reminds me of? Oh, shit. You know what this reminds me of? Somebody make a meme, right? <laughs> this is just like the fucking scene from Batman versus Superman when, when Clark comes home and tries to fuck, uh, it tries to fuck Lois in the time. <laughs> even the glasses are right there. <laughs> See, it make, but it, but it makes more sense for the for the tub to overflow. <laughs> it makes more sense in this case for the tub to overflow and like just immerse the fucking bathroom in water. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Stop caressing her. <laughs> Oh, you're at a comedy show. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, how much that cost? A little off today. My, uh, I had a friend tell me. Oh, you like seventy-seven dollars. A samurai on. <coughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask if you could see it, but. I mean, Boogie's probably miked, but something about him laughing louder than everybody else just pisses me off. <laughs> He's probably miked though. That's probably why we hear him over everybody else. Samurai on vacation. <laughs> I was <laughs> like fucking De Niro in Cape Fear. <laughs> Got my 20 year old girlfriend in my Tootsie Roll stogie. <laughs> Take his shows when I need a super chat. The Shape of Water with half a manatee. Oh, God. 
No, sorry, with a half manatee. See it. <laughs> like he pointed like it because he could hear him fucking laughing. Did you, uh, what are you, a YouTuber or something? Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, on YouTube for about 17 years. You've been on YouTube for 17 years? Yeah, four million subscribers. Okay, and this is your, right, your girlfriend, who is much younger than you, is suspiciously. <laughs> She, that, you know, it's never good when you say, well, she's an adult. <laughs> they clowning him. You keep looking at him and never answering the question. <laughs> eh, no, no. <laughs> For somehow the kissing is worse. Somehow the kissing, I don't know what it is. Ugh. <laughs> Laura Hugel, 799 Super Chat. But Henry Cavill is handsome, so you don't mind seeing him in the top. But I'm just saying, it's like the nasty equivalent of that scene. <laughs> Cause he's got, he already got, he's got the curly hair. He got the glasses and shit. And she's kind of, kind of got similar hair to, to uh, um, oh God, what's her name? She's kind of got similar hair to the chick who plays uh, Lois Lane. So it's just, it's, <laughs> it was just lining up so well. people single us out i hate it when people like i hate it when people single us out oh by the way this is how i laugh when i'm in a comedy show <laughs> so everybody can hear me and pay attention to me we're gonna do that though it's to be expected you're right we're different a total negus four dollars super yeah, chat and a little, little uh oh. That's okay. huh. he's not manipulating me I love him for him. He doesn't control me. We're a team. I mean, yeah, you're a team of damaged cuckoo birds. Yeah. <laughs> he supports me in everything I do and everything I want. He's he's my support system. Oh, doodle dude, Amy Adams. Okay, that's her name. I totally spaced on her name for a second. Let me get a McCrispy. Yeah, doodle dude. Why'd you go to the front row? Exactly. Why are you in front row? I don't want attention, but I'm going to be in front row and start laughing like fucking, like it said, fucking De Niro in <laughs> Cape Fear. <coughs> <laughs> Jack Diamond, $2 super chat. Some of these clips will be great for Creep 3. <coughs> Deluxe. McDonald's for 15 bucks. Make it large. Where'd they go with their McDonald's is only fifteen dollars? Two people. Wait, wait, wait. Fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars each, because that sounds more that sounds more accurate. What do I think about his dire financial situation? I think it's scary. Yeah, what's so scary about that? Um, that he might lose it all in a day. He might just be homeless one day, but So if I'm broke, if I go broke. Okay, if we end up back on disability and it's me, you and Chad living in some small apartment and we're eating McDonald's every day and that's. It's already her, you and a fucking dog eating McDonald's. <laughs> we're eating ourselves. You gonna be able to handle that? Yeah, you I guess it's that? me, you, Chad, eating McDonald's every day in our small cute apartment. <laughs> Cause I mean, I'm hopeful that people will Go back to watching us on YouTube. I hope that people will be, I'm hopeful that people will like, you know, I can go back to live streaming full time again and do like six hour live streams like every other streamer and like. Like don't you, you should already be doing like six hour live streams. And that's not even full, that doesn't even sound like full time live streaming. That's two hours more than what I do. That ain't full time. <laughs> grind it out. But I mean, there is a very real possibility that one day I won't be able to do that anymore. And we're going to have to live off of whatever we can. Are you prepared for that? As long as I have you, that's all I need. Have you ever thought about the fact that she's just waiting you out and trying to take your 401k when you die? <laughs> I'm out. I, I, I'm broke. You're broke. I'm broke, yeah. Four million subscribers. <laughs> Four million subscribers and you broke. Even if he does go broke and has to sell the house, I'm still going to be by his side. It's almost like she was afraid to laugh at some of that shit. Seems like she, she, she thought some of that stuff was funny and just didn't want to laugh because she doesn't want to fuck up 
living in a house. <laughs> He's the only one that I love and I care about, and there's only one of them. And so I'm not just going to up and leave him for money. Oh, yeah, that sounds tragic. He's the only one I love, and there's only one of them. Like, implying that, like, she can't love no one else. After, like, he's gone, that's fucking it for her. That's not... Ugh. <laughs> that's not kosher. Money. Because money's an issue. Because I love him, and just... God, they're even playing this... The, the uh... <laughs> they're even playing the romantic Superman theme. <laughs> <laughs> Imagining a life without him is difficult. <sighs> I mean, my biggest fear is dying on her. If I die in the next two or three years on her, that's just going to ruin her life. Then go to the fucking gym, you fat bet. See, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a girl who I love, um, want to do anything for her. She's my support system. She's my life. Uh, I wouldn't go to the gym for that bitch, though. Not for a million. <laughs> Not for anything. I'm not going, no. Walking more than six feet? No, no. Sorry. <laughs> Eating uh, healthy uh, uh, healthy portions of food? Not going to McDonald's? Sorry, no. I don't love the bitch that much. <laughs> I really want you to understand how actually sick I am. Like, I don't know if you actually get it. But this is my health summary. This is everything that's currently wrong with me. My risk for stroke or heart attack is astronomical. I am essentially a walking time bomb. And I'm so fucking sorry for that. Oh, the acting, the acting, the drama. I'm so fucking... Sorry for that. I don't know anyone who fucking, who expresses emotion that way in real life. That's some movie shit. I've never heard someone like say something and get emotional and just like just trail off in that like, like breathy tone. I've never heard that in real life. <laughs> that's a movie thing. That's a movie, that's movie shit. And I'm so fucking, fucking sorry, sorry for that. that. <laughs> I really, really wish I had taken better care of my body. Yeah. There's no, there's no tears in your eyes. Dude. I know. <laughs> I'll never be ready for it, but I know. <laughs> I don't want you to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. Okay. <laughs> See, you didn't do a very good job on the lawn today. You know, if you don't finish the job, I might die from the stress. We did have McDonald's earlier, so, you know, it's thumping, it's thumping. So, um, go get, go get that fucking mower, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eduardo Alvarez, 499 Super Chat. This is um, as emotional as a Generation I've Hope talked video. to my therapist since me and her have been together about overcoming it. My therapist keeps telling me the same thing. When you learn to love yourself, all these things will fall into place and we just got to teach you those skills. And then I turned to my doctor and I'm like, what do we do? He's like, you've had bypass surgery. You, you lost 200 pounds. What more can I do for you? I'm like, fix it, dude, help fix it. And then they're telling me that I'm the one that has to fix it. I don't know. Yes, stupid. I'm like, fix it, dude, help fix it. And then they're telling me that I'm the one that has to fix it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know how to walk. <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bike or use an elliptical use an elliptical machine like a gym what is that like is that some kind of like Greek language I can't speak that <laughs> a gime what's a gime <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Your rent's too oh jogging I mean I'm just saying that's something that the N-words do. <laughs> Jogging while they're, you know, carrying their stolen flat screens. <laughs> that's something. <laughs> White people don't jog. And I'm making less and less every month, and I'm scared shitless.
And now, <coughs> make his way to the ring. Boogie! To oh, yeah, the fight thing. I forgot about that. Tonight. Hey, so, Mike, I just got off the phone with Keemstar, and he has a boxing event coming up, and he's... Oh, wait, wait. Somebody in chat was like, um... Join Zidike and die. And die it. Oh, yeah, you can make so many Simpsons jokes from this shit. It's giving me a slot on the car. You got it? This is 800 pounds in one ring. This fight pays $10,000. No chance against me. Shut the fuck up. Turns out uh, Wings of Redemption was right. He had no chance against him. <laughs> People are going to see me win this thing. This is where I turn it all around. Right here. Monique Brown, fight out the super chat. Love your videos, Jay. You always make me laugh when I need it. Would you ever do a full reaction to the craft legacy? This, I got a review. Like I said, I got a review coming. I do have a fucking video coming for the craft legacy. I just pushed it aside. I was going to film. I was right close to filming it. But then um, the Exorcist Believer came out and that was equally as trash. And I just had, I had to say something about that. And I am working on that Im immediately, like right now, working on it. And right after that is going to be Craft Legacy, I fucking promise. Over 400,000 viewers purchased the fight. The stage was set for Boogie's and comeback. For your winner, Wings oh. Watch the way he hits my head. My brain got shocked. Boogie was unable to land a single punch. My skull. He was still paid ten thousand. So since you guys were here last, I did have a bit of a windfall. Why is this scene so dark? <laughs> oh, the ennui of the arcade. <laughs> Which bought me some time here in this house. Uh, the problem with that is I spent more than 10,000 uh, some it. time so since you guys were here last i did have a bit of a windfall which bought me some time here in this house uh the problem with that is i spent more than 10,000 getting that fight together so by uh you said it bought you some time but you still spent Spent more money than what you got. Spent more of the 10K than, than what you, you spent more of the 10K. Despite that match buying you some time. Like, you know, you just fucking lied. Like, blatantly lied right there. Just blatantly contradicted yourself. By the time all that was done, all I did was put that. Hang on, hang on. Let me add all that shit up. Uh, zero fifty. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just using my calculator right quick so I can. I can add all this shit. Um, uh, 50. Damn, that is exactly $10,000. Oh, okay. That $10,000. But from what I hear though, uh, that was a lie because I think, I think Wings of Redemption called him out on that bullshit. He, uh, he said, you can pay for your own, uh, like uh, that, Keemstar or like whatever, like the company behind the shit um, paid for his, you know, the boxing lessons and shit. I think the expenses, I don't know if all the expenses were paid, but like, yeah, certain things he did not have to pay for. Back in the savings. Um, Alice Keems, five pounds super jet. 2000 for meals. What kind of gold encrusted steak? Come on. Look at him. You know he's of course he's spending 2000 for two he's spending 2000 for food. Of course. Being in the new relationship is great. 
but I mean, she can't help pay a $2,200 mortgage. Uh, she can't get a job either? Having a girlfriend is great, but she can't get a fucking job. Like, why not? <laughs> okay, let's go through my monthly bills for a second. My health insurance is 800. I have $500 worth of medical bills. I have $500 worth of utilities. I, I pay for doctor's visits. Yeah, he's, he's lying about like him spending all his whole 10K for the fight shit. Cause some of that shit, some of it was paid for by like Keemstar, like the company um, behind that fight. So yeah, he's lying about that. Labs constantly. I still have to pay for the car that I drive. I still have to pay for car insurance. I still have to pay for health insurance. Diablo 4 came out. I had to buy it. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 came out. What I had to buy it. What the fuck is labs? Right. I, I pay for doctor's visits, physical therapies, labs constantly. I still have to pay. Oh, like the labs. But see, the medical bills and shit, like all that could be helped if you just lost fucking weight. Lord Fortungus, $2 super chat. She's too busy <laughs> mowing the lawn, Jay. <laughs> LR 220 a month in, Ar in Arkansas? For the car that I drive, I still have to pay. Yeah, he out here, like, you know, I don't believe a word he says most of the time. For car insurance, I still have to pay for health insurance. Diablo 4 came. Like, you can't, you can't garner sympathy from telling the damn truth. <laughs> oh, doodle doodle dude she's a living maid caretaker gardener jay she can't get a job oh that well not i had to buy it. uh final fantasy 16 came out i had to buy it what no come on bro stop it stop it see all this shit was real even though all you gotta do is lose weight and you can cut a lot of these in half or like wipe them out completely but then now we're talking about video games and shit Ryan, Ryan Bannon, $2 super chat. Can you eat Diablo 4 problem solved? Tears of the Kingdom came out. I had to buy it. That's four. No, you didn't. And then keep in mind, he said he had a, a, a spending addiction or whatever. So it's like, you can't even take, oh, I had to buy it. Like, like, we can't take you seriously, motherfucker. Because earlier, earlier in the documentary, you said you had a spending problem. $400 for the video games right there. But if you take out. Eh, eh, go back. You yada yada some shit. Oh, I had to buy it. That's $400 for the video games. Gas, clothes. Right Netflix. There, but you don't even need. Netflix. Hulu is $70? Hold up. Yeah, they yada yada. Hulu is $70 fucking dollars? What are you spending? What? Is Hulu actually that much money or is he doing some extra shit with Hulu? Hang on. Who the fuck? Oh, you're right. My phone's right here. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Fucking Hulu my ass. $70 a month. Your rent's due, motherfucker. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I think he might actually be telling the truth about this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hulu, our ad supported plan costs just $7.99 a month or $79.99 a year and gives you access to our ad supported streaming library. Now he could have the $79.99 a year thing, but that's a year. <laughs> That's a fucking year plan. So he's like putting all, out monthly shit, or what he like, or what he like, or did he just like flake on? No, because like shit like Hulu and Netflix. As soon as you miss a payment, I think as soon as you miss a payment, they're like fuck you. <laughs> it's not like with like a light bill where you can you can catch up with it. All right, you got you got other plans too. Hulu with ads, with live TV, Disney Plus, and all that. That's seventy six a month. And you got Hulu, no ads, live TV, Disney Plus, ESPN. That's ninety dollars a month. Yeah, so you probably got one of these fucking plans. And I'm like, nigga, you don't need this. I don't have one. 
I'm I'm gonna be real. I don't have one streaming service except for maybe um um shit uh Amazon Amazon Prime, but that's incidental. That's completely incidental. I got Amazon Prime for the the shipping thing. The streaming thing is, like I said, it's just incidental. It's just extra shit. Let's get back to the chat. But yeah, the only streaming service I have is like Amazon Prime. And I don't even fucking use it. I just use it for like the, the delivery thing. I'm not, I used it a couple times because I, I was looking, I, I watched a movie called Vampire Strippers and it, the, only, the only place I could find the fucking movie was on Amazon Prime. It's hilarious, by the way. I suggest you watch it. <laughs> but if you take out all of it, you take it out, all I like need Hulu is, is fucking $70. That's ridiculous. Sandwiches every day. All I do is sit here. I don't pay for any Netflix subscriptions all I pay for is internet, utilities, men. If you just said you. All of it. You take it out. All I eat is sandwiches every day. All I do is sit here. I don't pay for any Netflix. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get the... everything he said. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 came out. I had to buy it. Tears of the Kingdom came Look, country, and I don't see no gym memberships. <laughs> came out. I had to buy it. That's $400 for the video games right there but if you take out all of it you take it out all i eat is sandwiches every day all i do is sit here i don't pay for any netflix subscriptions all i pay for is internet utilities medical bills mortgage if i pay for just that i need seven thousand dollars a month um, let's go back hang on i Utilities, medical bill, Netflix subscriptions, all I pay for all games right there. You seven thousand okay, medical bills, utilities. So if you take all that out and he, it was just medical bills, utilities, <coughs> no video game, just the internet. Hang on, let's get the calculator back out. <laughs> Cause I don't think this nigga can count. <laughs> if it was just internet, which is two fifty um, the medical bills. Uh, uh. Utilities. Health insurance. Insurance. Huh? Plus the mortgage. And honestly, you don't need to spend that much on dates. Get the fuck, $750. Stay in, bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm taking out dates, cause that's fucking, get the fuck out of here. Um, gas, $300. There's no way you need $300 for gas. Are we talking about, wait, are we talking about gas as in in your home or for your car? But then again, no, it, that should be in utilities, right? Gas, clothes. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, did I put, what, did I put in, <laughs> did I put in doctor visits? Physical therapy? Shit, let me look it over. No, 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 I didn't. Hang on. Uh, uh he would actually need sixty three hundred dollars. Not exactly seven thousand. He was almost there. <laughs> but yeah, like, like I said, a lot of this could be fixed. 
if you had just lost $15 a month to go to the fucking gym and you just lost weight, you would not have all these goddamn problems. Get the fuck out of here. But if you take out all of it, you take it out. All I, I would still need 7,000. Now you would need 6,300. <laughs> I know it's semantics technically, but yeah, it's not, you're kind of exaggerating. All I do is sit here. I the ball, seven fifty for meat curtain rods. Jesus All Christ! All I pay for is internet, utilities, medical bills, mortgage. If I pay for just that, I need seven thousand dollars a month. I'm not making seven thousand dollars a month, and I have no clue how to do it. Don't you say you were making content, bitch? And you do know how to make it. Get a job. <laughs> and then lose weight. I suggest working at a fucking warehouse. That way you can lose weight while you were doing your job. Stop drinking fucking Mountain Dew. So there's something I've always wanted to try. There's a lot of research that came out of Europe and now we're doing it here in the United States where psychedelics can help reset certain brains. Yeah, that worked out so well for the Smith family. People who experience childhood abuse. <laughs> that psychedelic trauma, bullshit. People who deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. And I'm all of those. I, to be honest, I'm scared shitless. It's one of the only things I haven't tried yet. So let's give it a shot. Katie do rags. Does he own those arcade cabinets? Because that could get him some pennies. He's not going to sell that shit. <laughs> My given name is Ryan Arthur DeLeo. I think he's one of those people that likes having stuff around. <laughs> and I've adopted the name Flaming Star. There's one thing. <laughs> Flaming Star, professional shaman. <laughs> oh boy. That's un. Oh, I'm going to pause it right there. <laughs> the fucking cap. Oh. Professional shaman. <laughs> Deniable is that there's always this question about why, why am I here? Existence, what's really happening? Who am I? That's what happens when you seek out hallucinogenics. When I say professional shaman, that means I, <laughs> I can't, oh, I can't stand it. I can't finish my jokes. Um, and when I say professional shaman, I mean, if you ask me, I'd kick back a kegger every now and then. I'd be like, shaw, man. <laughs> this took me so long to get out, that lame-ass joke. It's going to allow everything else physically here to relax. The emotional stuff is going to come out. Trauma is going to come out. But afterwards, your atoms are going to go back into their original position. Marionic, the music, right? That's it's like it's from a Halloween movie. Mind, body, and spirit all one together. We're all connected. I believe when it. When you get to a certain point of understanding inside your intellect mind, that connectivity, you realize your hands are basically looking like USB ports. So these are the, uh, it's crazy to think that something that Don't just rose out knees. of the ground has so much power. Like your knees, like what the fuck? Is this syrup? <laughs> and I'm actually holding in my hand right now. But here we go. And then he spit it out because it has too much protein. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. Honestly, because he's got protein in his pits. It doesn't taste too bad. They're pretty good and dry. Every, everybody just says kind of earthy. Stim and all. Oh, the whole thing, yeah, yeah. Okay. Welcome to the club. Oh, wait, somebody said something. Mr. Ninja Burger, Clum talked about how this shaman is trying to cure his own cancer with mushrooms. Good luck with that. <laughs> uh, apparently he's riddled with cancer. And they had to do reshoots to not show it all, show it all in these videos. Uh, M pause, five pound super chat. Curious, Jake Earl, what are your thoughts on the GB Afterlife movie? Uh, or the new GB trailer that just came out, have you seen it all? I liked the first um, Ghostbusters Afterlife. That was fine. 
Um, I liked especially the scene um, when, oh my god, what the fuck, when, when Spengler shows up. That was a good scene. That was genuinely a good scene. Finally, like a movie, instead of shitting on the original character, they actually, you know, give him his flowers, give him his moment. I mean, it sucks that he couldn't talk, but like, you know, he's dead, so he couldn't. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of t t difficult to explain because because he's dead, but he doesn't talk like. But You're ghosts right. do talk in this universe, so you know, you know, there's that little problem. But you know, you look past it because whatever. It was a good scene. I mean, it did have its problems, but it's overall like, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's a pretty good movie. Ryan Bannon, five dollars super chat, nine out of ten. Doctors recommend doing drugs with a redneck in the backwoods of Arkansas to cure obesity. Um, and the new, the trailer for the new one, I'm a little skeptical about that because you never know. They could fuck up the whole vibe they tried to, uh, capture in the first one. And also like, oh, oh, the whole world is freez freezing. Well, like, what the fuck does that have to do with ghosts? <laughs> I know it's a little weird. It's just a little weird. The premise is a little weird. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. May God bless you and be with you on your journey. That's an old chicken bone. <laughs> no, wait. No. <laughs> that's a... That's a... <laughs> oh, God. That is a decomposing butterfinger. <laughs> bless you with this de decomposed butterfinger. Of his Crocs next to the fire. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Come on, he's got the little like the little widgets. <laughs> he's got the little trinkets in his Crocs. <laughs> okay, so I think we've been about twenty minutes in. About 15, yeah. About 15. So we're about 15 minutes in, and I started to feel things are kind of wavy and kind of disconnected. It's kind of like my brain works on multiple... It, like, <laughs> things are kind of wavy and disconnected. Uh, it's kind of like how you... It's kind of like how you feel when you see Boogie's uh, naked torso. Everything is wavy, and you feel disconnected from the reality. <laughs> multiple channels and like I have to pick and choose what I'm concentrating on. I have been false. I have no clue where the fuck I am or even who I am. And I'm drinking Dasani. He's drinking Dasani of course. The only reason he's drinking is because he heard there was so much salt in it. <laughs> fuck I recognize uh, He's about to experience the second part of the realization of letting go. <laughs> fucking smile and looking up at the sky. I'm so autistic. <laughs> and we're gonna get to the other side of it. I told you they'd come. It's gonna get nice and bright in about five more minutes. Yeah. And the reflection in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My fingers turned into chicken fingers. <laughs> Five more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and the My fingers are like chicken fingers or lady fingers. Reflection in the water is really cool too. The ball, the flute music, yeah, the Native American, the pseudo Native American flute shit. This is a trip. Dude. Yeah, how much time we got left? We got like seven minutes. So, what do you think was the first time you that put you your. You're gonna, you're gonna cause an explosion. Put your shoes back experience which had which basically set up like a defense mechanism for you man yeah my parents are just crazy they're broken people parents yeah stewards people who are like trying to, to, to oh okay okay <laughs> Yep, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Nigga, who are you talking to? What? Me? 
Like, they don't, I mean, that shit doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. That was the dumbest shit. Oh, <laughs> that happened so long, <laughs> That's me after watching this. That's the dumbest shit. <laughs> That was the dumbest shit. <laughs> oh, and it happened so long ago. Like, I've just been waiting for the right time to just drop that shit. So, uh, when did you feel the need of this separate personality? This fucking music. Or <laughs> composed by Chief Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> is that what was that like what you used as a coping mechanism to socialize with oh that's exactly what it is right like i didn't know what the hell i don't know how to communicate what i was dealing with or what i was going through and i just right we put on these different faces in order to deal with situations in society you try to give people what the hell they want and then you felt like that was the need to make up francis or other person stop showing his fucking hoof <laughs> oh my god, stop! Yeah. Are you ready to let all that go? Yeah, please, man. Oh my god. Plus, that boogie wakes up naked and bent over happiness. a pile of rocks glazed. Wait, 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 what? Happiness. Huh? Wait, wait, rewind that. <laughs> oh my god. This is the first time I've ever felt happiness. I wait, wait, know. wait, what? Happiness. Uh -huh. <laughs> he thought he was, yeah, we have to crack the code. Wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> I hear a breakthrough. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time I felt it. So I was about to tell him, man, it's all kind of bullshit. It's, all, bullshit? it's all bullshit. What? What? Just all the things I've been worried about. <laughs> because because you are the man. master of your... This is, this is the opening. This is the... <laughs> This is the first frame of a horror movie right here. Orchestra, man. It's a game, right? He kept the women it's up to you to choose. In a shed. The fuck? Oh wait, that's the Can you get That's out? the documentary. Nope. It was such an abrupt edit. I thought somebody was calling me on my fucking phone. <laughs> oh Jesus. Steven, are you can you get up? Hello? Shady directs, peace and joy are not, uh, peace and joy are not happiness. Happiness is a long-term emotion. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, the penguin. <laughs> he's about to, <laughs> he's about to take over Gotham City. Like I said, I told y'all, this looks like the fucking, this could be a cushion on an Ikea couch. He's got one whole unitity. It's a mono titty with two nipples on it. <coughs> it's a mono titty. I'm still not sure I'm like really here yet. And of course the first thing he fucking does, instead of drinking water, or like, you know, having a cup of coffee, bacon and eggs, something like pleasant. He drinks fucking Mountain Dew. You just want to slap that shit out of his fucking hand. I don't really want breakfast. That's just, that's a change. Jesus. Whew. Ooh, guys. Let's go. It's just all bullshit. Like, none of this matters. None of it. It's all a construct. It's all a simulation. It's all a... Now he's just saying what he thinks he needs to say because he got high. Like, shut the fuck up. It's a fucking video game. Nothing matters, you know bro. I... Like, when I took that first... Oh, yeah, nothing matters except Mountain Dew. <laughs> nothing matters except, except the cool, crisp, pine salt flavor of Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> All these consumer products, they don't mean anything. Except my for my Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> I think I died last night. I physically my body was fine, but I think 
I died. Went back into... And I was brought back to life by the sweet Boy, taste of Mountain Dew. <laughs> and I think uh, I think I'm still in it. Except I'm also in this physical. The ball, he body, did the do. But I'm also the incorporeal being that. He did the do, and his soul was free. <laughs> he did the do, and his soul was free. <laughs> Puppets it and oh, controls God. it, and. God damn it, I feel like I'm in control. I, got, I feel like Now go control your fucking weight. <laughs> and go to the goddamn I'm gym. in control of myself for the first fucking time. Stop acting. You're bad at it. Lord Fortungus, White Owl Super Chat. Nothing matters because I decided not to value anything in my life ever. <laughs> the stuff that I, I normally worry about, like worrying about my finances, worrying about my internet, worrying about what people think about me, it's all so incredibly stupid. It's all just bullshit. I think I'm gonna enjoy making YouTube videos again. I think I'm gonna- <laughs> It's all YouTube, it's all bullshit. That's why I'm going back to YouTube. <laughs> Everything is just bullshit. Like I could like go full on health nut holistic, go to the gym, become, maybe even become a vegan, even though I, you know, uh, <laughs> become a vegan and dedicate my life to that and like actually helping people and Hearing some human suffering, but no, YouTube again. <laughs> enjoy live streaming again. Yeah, and then, and of course, not losing. What's it. up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Look at your 98 income and at your office, get to the power. When I make a video, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people watch. That is still my dream job. Um, I thought you said you were losing followers and all this shit. Now when you stream, you're getting like 10, 20,000 people watching you and you still broke? None of those 10, 20,000 people are donating to you? Hmm. Yeah, Brian Bannon, $5 Super Chat. Genuine question, does he not take showers because he can't get through the shower door? <laughs> yeah, I think that's exact. He probably just can't fit in the shower. Uh, I mean, that's not even a roast. That's probably just the truth. 15,000, 20. Hang on, let, let's rewind that. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, look at your 98 income and at your office, get to the power. When I make a video, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people watch. That is still my dream job. And oh, wait, 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 He said when he makes a video, okay. Everybody falls off. That's part of the deal. Every single month. He had tons and tons he, of You start off. Everybody as falls off, you know, it's just, that just happens. I'm not at fault for, I'm not, I didn't make myself fall off. It just happens. It's just nature. I, so that way I don't have to self-improve because I'm gonna fall off anyway. You're not slick, buggy. Nobody. And for a short period of time, you're a somebody. And then that star burns out like every star does. <laughs> it's so inspirational when he got his shit rocked. <laughs> I mean, it, technically it was, yeah. I was lucky enough to get hit by lightning. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get hit by... <laughs> I was lucky enough to get my shit rocked. Uh, Billy Nunez, $2 super chat. He's a, he's a one fit, he's a one tit one. <laughs> oh God. Like every star does. I was lucky enough to get hit by lightning. I was lucky. Of course, he calls himself a star. Ugh. Lucky enough to get to live my dream. I was lucky enough to get to enjoy all of that. Play this game the way I wanted to play it. I'll be Stop filming this girl's ass. One day I'm, too. I'm begging you. But for one brief moment, we, we got an opportunity to shine really bright. Boogie is still broke. Oh, that pretty good, by the way. You've seen them stars in the She's a total knockout, but I'm still. Okay, that's about. Oh, wait, no, there's something at the end. His videos have been viewed over a lot. Once again, through the power of the internet. Yeah, oh, yeah.
He remains a felon in the state of Arkansas. You, oh, they're doing the recap thing they usually do at the end of comedies. I genuinely believe. <laughs> uh, Adam Milan, 250 RSD, just joined, and I have to ask what sort of multi-chin necklace nightmare fuel is this? I know you said you like bigger guys, but David, hey, 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 I ain't talking about Boogie bigger, goddamn. <laughs> Boogie is crazy ass. Uh, Let's celebrate. Oh, YouTube sending me this thing. Uh, Mike Clum needs therapy after this documentary. He does. That I can make her comfortable. I did when I showed up. <laughs> Boogie 290 was not compensated for his participation. Mm, he wasn't? Genuinely believe that I can make her comfortable. I did when I showed up. <laughs> but I'm slowly <laughs> realizing. Mike Clum, though, should direct comedies. Like those, like. Kind of like dark comedies. This was funny as <laughs> Dad, uh, you're absolutely fucked. Okay, all right, so. <laughs> Mike Klum was definitely not paid for this project. Yeah, the video actually is not monetized. For, for It could be not monetized because of all the, you know, the scintillating sexual content. <laughs> when all you had to do was not show it, bro. You could have not shown it. And would have could have gotten a grip because it shot up to three million out of nowhere. It only had like a hundred, hundred twenty k when I first like the last time I looked at it, and then it shot up three to three milli. You could have got a grip for this. Inspired by Sunny V two. Yeah, I, th I think I heard that guy made a um. No, no, it wasn't that. Well, yeah, I think it was him and some other guy. Okay, but yeah, that's that's finally over. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God it's over. And it's only like uh, about a little more than thirty minutes to midnight, which is great. We like we just like we we just made like we're like we're seven we're a cut we're a few minutes shy of. The stream needing to end and it is ending because oh boy i need yeah i need to shrink after that shit that was hilarious and i need to spit out a bunch of phlegm from all the laughing because god damn it like th this documentary made my covid like almost come back <laughs> with a vengeance oh jesus christ i'm out i'm out of here Evil Hero Diamond Cat. Anything else to watch? It might just be more depressing shit. Hang on. Let's see. Is it racist to like big butts? Oh, dear God. Did I read this already? I might have read this already. I might have, I don't know. Did I read it or did I want to read it? And I was just, and I had just had it sitting in my folder this whole time. Is it, you know, no, go back to dark. <laughs> go back. <laughs> Is it racist to like big booties? Uh, Bew and the Dragon? Cheers, Jay Longbone. I'm going to drown in fizzy drinks now. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've read this. Honestly, I don't want to read it. No, nah, you know what? No, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm settling down for tonight. Fuck it. No. Right when I thought I could, like, read a whole article, I was like, no. Something just like kicked in my mind and body. It was like, no, stop it. I'm going to bed, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the super chats and the comments. You guys are great. And suffering through this. Thank you for suffering through this. because This was rough. Uh, thank you to all of the... Thank you to, to Disparu and... Um, oh, my God. Shady Do-Rags and Ruin Leon for stopping by to say hi. Yeah, I gotta go. I'm going to bed. My mouth hurts from laughing. <laughs>
My chest hurts <laughs> from the damn phlegm and the laughing. I'm going to bed. Good night. You guys are great. Like I said, I got um, Exorcist uh, Believer review coming out one of these days. I'm working on it.